Oka Studios Haven John Solo 8 Salacious Rom Together We're unstoppable We are Of course Freeman and Monculism Bringing out toys to play That's right Freeman and Monculism Bringing out toys to play Freeman and Monculism that was a nice question. Hey, 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 hey. Like We're that. back. Yeah, We're back. Oh, look. Oh, my God. So, I have another dude. I'm here. He vanished. <laughs> so, I had, no, I had a, I had a contact lens issue and I, it like kind of popped out. So, I had to adjust it. Apologize. I saw you blinking. I wondered if you had something in your eye. Yeah, it was, it wasn't settling right. And then it kind of just popped and, and then uh, I fixed it. No one can beat me at staring contests, Dan. No one's ever beaten me. You even try. try. Yeah, you try, you try. All right, welcome to the show, everybody. Thanks for coming in. Today we have a special guest, Dan, from Dandy1981. And he's also pretty well-known on Instagram also. Uh, hopefully I can have Salacious run to our intros, and I'll pop up some of the names uh, on the chat after that, <laughs> uh, uh, the, the home for uh, did, 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 did we agree this? Did we agree this? How are you surprised? You to like, I'm, I'm surprised I said, you're not prepared for this. Well, like, <laughs> well, you know, given Sean's hosting, and and he told me so many weeks in advance that I'll be doing the intro, you know, yeah. all right, Bob, go for it, Bob. We need, we need, we need intervention. Um, okay, um, hello everyone. My name is Bob Rum. Um, I am not your host this evening. Sean Solo Eight is your host, but I will introduce us. Why not? We are the Free Men and a Monkey Lizard. Right, your host, your host this evening, is YouTube's finest, the short video sensei, Sean Solo Eight. That's say hello, say hello <laughs> then, Sean. I've just introduced you. Say hello. Okay, guys. I think I might have messed this up a little bit. Oh, no. <laughs> Next <That's right>. up, <laughs> then. <laughs> this live streaming is serious business, people. Oh, we are we are the pros, Dude, man. Dan, we are welcome. Okay. We welcome are picking up <laughs> exactly where we left off last week. This is exactly. literally okay. where we left Can off. Can you guys last hear week. me? This is elite. This is elite level podcasting, man. This the the host can't even can't even hear us. Anyway, we'll carry on the introductions because we also have. He's known as El Duderino. All the dude, if you're into the whole brevity thing, it's a dude's nerdery. What up, everyone? Thank you for uh, hanging out with us on uh, Friday uh, evening. It's a pleasure to see you guys. And he is the leader of the Quackian Monkey Lizard Army. He's a DJ, a producer, a toy and a video game collector. He's an incredible lover and a pretty average jester. It's Slacious Rum. Yeah, thanks, oh. Bob. This is a bit of a shambles. There this, we go. Now we're good. Oh, he's, oh, oh, the host is back. Everybody. Hallelujah. <laughs> praise the Lord. The host, Sean Solo, is back in me? the house. Yes, we can hear you. <laughs> oh, we can you hear you the whole time. Are you kidding me? Well, anyway, and I don't also on our pros yet, but I went in panic mode for some reason. I have it in airplane mode, and it's still uh. Let me put that back in airplane mode. Okay, just, so let's say hello just... to everybody. We've got uh, Kareem oh, okay. Skywalker in the oh, chat. Uh... <laughs> so definitely appreciate that. <laughs> Why are you guys laughing so much? Because he hasn't done the introductions yet. <laughs> oh, has he? Oh, I'm sorry. Was there technical difficulties or what's going on? Christ. Not on our part. Why? Okay. Oh yeah, I know. For some reason, uh, everybody, I'm on my phone tonight, so I, I apologize. But I'll be in better service next week or the following uh, weeks on the show. So, I, I'm I so, just, honestly, but, uh, I'm, I'm just so happy right Or Bob, now. can this you is... do the introductions? I, I'm thinking that Sean can't hear any of us. Can you hear us? Move along. 
No reaction. Oh, we lost to Bob. Then? Say. <laughs> He's here. He can't Bye. hear me. He can't hear. We can hear him. Sean, can you hear me? Well, I can't hear Dan. Dan, I don't. I, I don't think I Sean can hear, hear anybody. Oh man, I'm all messed up. I don't know how to do this. Uh, I'm gonna. I can I, only I'm, hear you, Vern. I yeah, might try. This is gonna be real. You want me to translate for everybody? <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I think we need so, to. Let me we need. We need to mute Sean, really, don't we? <laughs> He's the only one that can do that. Oh my gosh! He's the only one that can. Okay, can you I'm gonna. I'm gonna go through Anyways. the chat. So I'm gonna go through the chat. I can't actually Apprentice. select the chat because Sean's the bloody host. Apprentice okay. Is Hello, Thousands Ghost. Hello, OT. Hello, Sean's gone. <laughs> At least okay. he's still running. Imperial Communique. Hey, how's it going? Uh, Josh Wallen. How's it going? Red hey, Ranger hey, Chris. Hey, hey, Josh. Jonathan Redmond. What's up, everybody? Oh, that's easy. What's up, enough. guys? I should. I can just leave and come back. So that works. Yeah, Captain Mule. Gavin. Can you can you hear us this time, Sean? Yeah. Yeah. Oh just, my God, we're, we're back. We're no, back. We're, we're back. Alive, so that's good. We're back. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Everybody. Smugglers Canyon. Sean. Sean is so rock and roll. Yeah. Vern, I think I'm we need to let definitely. you need to let Sean pick up the the chat now. He's got to. He's <laughs> okay. got to. Okay. He's got to pull some weight right. now. Come on. Come right, on. We got a thousand ghosts in the house. Definitely appreciate that. There we got OT says hi, monkey lizard lovers. Hey, OT. Uh, prior guest Imperial Communique, definitely check out his channel if you guys What's haven't up? yet. What's up? What's uh, up? What's Josh Whalen, yo yo hey, yo, yeah, he says let it play, Vern. <laughs> we got Boo. <laughs> that was the intro song. Yeah, yeah, I love that song. It's been in my head all week. I've been hyped oh. up for this week. So, oh. Oh. Well, last um, week I had the long Chris. version and I cut it off. Oh yeah, well I like yeah. that one. I'm I'm definitely gonna have that every time. Hey you guys, what's up? We got Red Ranger Chris. We got Jonathan Redman. Hello, Mr. Jonathan. Says good morning, panel and chat. We've got Hello. good old Oakhurst Studios. Vern here joining us. Hello. We've got Hello. Captain Mule. He's uh, been a regular on Twitter lately, and uh, yep. in my comments section. Hello, Mr. Mule. Oh. We've got Gavin. Good old Gavin. Very familiar face there. Dropping in to say hi. Yeah, what's up, Mr. Gavin? Gavin. Mr. Really Gavin. appreciate you stopping by. Mr. Gavin. We've got Jedi Trek. He says, hello, guys. Oh, hello. hello. What's up? Hello. Hello. And Captain Mule says, last week was really fun. We did have a blast. We're going to do our best not to talk about food this week. Last week was off the chain. <laughs> off the chain. <laughs> that's the way we like it. That's yeah. the way we roll. That's the way we roll. Let it, dude. Absolutely. You, Josh Wendland. It's the only way to roll. What's up, Josh? We've got Blacked Out Ewoks. Hi, all. A very familiar mm -hmm. face there. If you haven't checked out his channel, definitely check that out. The goat. Everybody's He's a nice human. Happy. We've got good old Brandon in the house. Like uh, What's Brandon, up, Brandon? I think he's a moderator. I don't know if he can drop links to the YouTube channels in the chat. Would be he is. Can I just say something quickly? Yeah, Red about Ranger Brandon. Uh, Chris is too. Yep. Can I can I just say something quickly about Brandon? He's trying <laughs> to get to a thousand subs, and he's close. He's really close. So come on, let's get him over the line. Let's get those one thousand subs for the Apprentice Ewok. He'll he'll give you a cuddle. Yeah, he might definitely. he might murder you afterwards because he's an, uh, an Ewok. But you'll get, <laughs> a, you'll, you'll, get you'll get you'll get a cuddle first. We've also got Smugglers Canyon in the house. He says, Hello, "Honestly, friend. guys, this is amazing." <laughs> Hello, Christian. <laughs> Hello, Christian. Hello, Christian. Everybody, he's a fellow. Oh. He's a he's a fellow <laughs> sausage fan. And, uh, he is. He is. He All likes right, the blood correct. the blood pudding. Oh boy. Uh, here we go. Captain Mule Apprentice says, I can hear you guys all the way, including Sean. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you can't hear you guys. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad everybody had a laugh. That's wonderful. Uh, all right. Sleeping uh, Collectibles. What's up, man? Welcome back. It says, unless it's Star Wars, but what's that up, ain't sleep? proper way. Hey. Oh, uh, hey, cool. Phantom on. Collective just shout out out our uh, stream on Twitter. So we'll see how that goes. Jonathan. Oh, well, thank you. Or Josh Anderson's in the house. It says, hello, Pete. What's up, Josh? I'm back to work officially today. Just wanted Yay. to stop in and show my support. Congrats. 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 Can Congrats. Can I just Congrats, say as well, dude. we need to, we need to say it, it, it's good. The cinemas are coming back now. It's about time. So yeah, good. Well, done. well done. Well done, Mr. Josh. Yeah. I'm ready. I'm ready for Black Widow. That's going to definitely get me in the theater. I am. I am very much looking forward to being in a movie theater. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, we got Optic Racer, uh, very, very popular 
on YouTube. He probably watches every single creator uh, on the planet. He says, oh, no, Salacious is still hurt. Here's some pizza to make you smile. Oh, pizza. Thanks, Optic Racer. Yum. Pizza More teeth. Hello, it's everybody's pretty seems pretty happy and talkative in chat here. Uh, yeah. How long are we guessing until we get sausage talk this week? Anybody? Uh, what's, uh, the under over? <laughs> what's the under over? What's the under over? Bob had a fantastic all day breakfast baguette this morning with the nicest Cumberland sausage. Well, there you go. Oh. 10 minutes so and what, 33 seconds. What is, what is a Cumberland sausage? <laughs> It's a sausage that is comes from Cumberland, funnily okay. enough. <laughs> and uh, in, in it's, Cumberland it's, is a region, curves. right? Cumberland is in is yeah. is Cumberland is Bob getting here and do your Yorkshire accent. Uh, yes, <laughs> uh, yes, um, Cumberland's up north. Uh, yeah, thanks, thanks, Bob. Uh, yeah, it's curved, so it's curved so that the ends almost touch each other. It's curved into like, like well, like, like a banana, really. It's like a Banana shaped sausage. <laughs> That's tasty awesome. though. Tasty. Tasty. Bob, sort the camera out. So Dan, welcome to our show. Yeah. <laughs> hey, how's it going? Can you hear me? So Dan, yes, we can yes, hear you. Yes, we can hear you. <laughs> so so yeah. Dan, um, will you tell us about uh, like how you got into collecting? Was it you know childhood, adulthood again, all the way? And uh, tell us uh, about your collection. Both. So I started, uh, I would say, toys just like everybody else, little kid, playing with toys, right? G.I. Joe's. Um, then I think I, I want to say I was 13 maybe when I got the first inbox, which you can see is my 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 primary um back behind me here so it was oh, uh, it, was it was a die cast toy it was uh i think it was a batman batmobile from the animated series and i was like mm -hmm. you know what this looks just as cool in the in the package i mean and, and it's just gonna roll like a hot wheel i want to keep it because the the car to the other artwork was really cool and um and, and i didn't have any problem with you know just hanging it up and then the next thing i know i had a uh a collection of the, you know, the whole set. And then that was the feeling of satisfaction and, and the completion of them or whatever it's called, getting the entire wave or whatever it was, you know, uh, whatever you called it back then. I didn't yep. know if there was a term for it back then, but I was like, man, this is really cool. I've got all of them. So the I term, just the term was that kid is lucky. <laughs> a little brat. No, I was actually quite the opposite. I started, I actually started working when I was 13 so I could uh, get my own stuff because nice. I knew, but yeah, I was never going to pay for it. My mom what, uh, what, what was your first job? <laughs> uh, let's see. Paperboy. Dude, mine was and, too. I was a paperboy paper too. That was my first job. Yeah. Bob was yeah, a paperboy as well. No way. Three paperboys? Yeah, oh Bob God. was a paperboy. I played paperboy on Nintendo. <laughs> <laughs> I can burn. I can assure you that was a thousand times more fun than actually being a paperboy. It it was not. A, it was. It, I'll tell you what. I learned a lot of valuable life lessons being a paperboy. <laughs> so when you, did you have to collect too, dude. Yes, I had to collect. Yeah, and I think I was. I had. I was probably like eleven or twelve. Did you ever have the lady that answered the door with the something she shouldn't have answered the door in? Yeah, Bob, Bob, Bob had that. Bob had that. Yes. A few house, times. I, like, I, I dreaded it every month getting that collection, man, because it's like I know there's going to be an awkward bathrobe that's about ready to come undone or some crazy, you know. And always, and, and I, with fuzzy slippers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you guys are bad. See, the yeah. lucky kids had the paper outs, I had the Mulan's. <laughs> Oh god, that's too much work. Yeah, that's rough too. My my first real job, like when I was fifteen, was I was a I was a grocery bagger at uh, at Dominic's in uh, in Chicago. Um, that that's like a big uh, grocery store chain there. Um, and that again, man, I was like that that job. It's it's grueling doing that for eight hours straight. It is. It really, it really was. Yeah, it, 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 it really was. So, but it, I'm glad I did those jobs because it, it, um, you know, I didn't grow up. We grew up pretty poor, so, but it motivated me to go, to want to go to college and, you know, what I mean, and and uh, do something different. So, but I think it teaches you the value of hard work and grinding a day out. It's it builds character. So I'm I'm grateful for for those experiences. 
Dude, this got really off topic. Wow, sorry. <laughs> why? Why are my big screen? <laughs> the channel can see you. They did you know were in you. the zone, man. Admire your collection. Bob used to work at a supermarket, and he blagged his way to be in charge of the reduction gun. And he used to go and reduce all the stuff he wanted, hide it, and then and then take it and then buy it at the end, really cheap. <laughs> Thanks for the super chat, Sleeping Collectibles. Appreciate it, man. We love having your company. I love enjoying your show. If nobody on my channel has seen Sleeping Collectibles, definitely check his out. He's yeah, check him out. Free giveaways. Uh, and he was just a guest a on one of our dude, shows. Yeah, yep. Before. Yeah, and just a good dude. Uh, looks like we got another yes. super chat here. Uh, yeah, Josh, Josh Anderson. Anderson. I don't know how to get nice. to it. Here we go. Uh, yeah, oh. for the sausages. Oh, 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 sausages. oh awesome, awesome. Is um is Dan Dan? What are you filming on? Are you on a camera or a webcam there? Yeah, phone. Oh, are we? Are you going to be able to go mobile? <laughs> Can you go mobile? It, we want to see your toys, man. We want to see yeah, your so, toys. So Dan, tell yeah. us. Yeah, tell us about your collection now, and then will you show us uh, that? Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm like salivating looking behind you. Tell us and show us. Yeah, tell us. yeah show I and tell. I prepared him the other day. And All the right. dioramas he's going to show us, hopefully. I've just come up with the, new, the, the, the name of our new... It's, it's show and tell, isn't it? Show and tell. That's yeah. Show and tell. I love it. And, yeah, yeah. Grocery bagger. See that? Yeah, Where's another one? one, man. Another one. Oh, yeah. I love it. Now, did you get... No, I'm just curious. Before I before I, should, before I take off, I just got to ask. So, did you, you take it out of the car or you just bag them? uh both i would i remember doing both yeah yeah because some I people do. some people would tip you which was really cool yeah, yeah. that's why i asked yeah you did yeah. I mean, yeah. they could do, like, there's an art to it you know like putting it all the way on the back side of the passenger yeah. against the door with the heavy means, bags you know what that means something else in england i must have missed that when i couldn't hear you guys because that means something else in england in England on an american air force base and they used to tip you out there and uh, yeah. i made a lot of money doing that but uh, Sean, you only oh. got paid in tips, right? Yeah, that's it. That's, yeah. Strictly. Yeah. At the base no exchange, way. it was the same. The base commissary is the same. Yeah. Only paid the baggers and tips. Dude, sleep is a grocery bagger too. I love that. Yeah. I think we, that we have a whole group of us now. <laughs> that's so funny. <laughs> Bagging, bagging the shit at the should, grocery store. Should we store schedule was like, a um, live stream with just yeah. grocery baggers and we can all tell war stories about being grocery baggers? Yeah, cats and mules, I mean, we, mowed lawns. I did that too for a while. Yeah, I mean, we could. Yeah, my one lawns. Oh, dude, look at that. That is beautiful. There's, yeah, there's some that, serious oh stuff. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Look at that. Yeah, sleeping collectibles is definitely envious. <laughs> Foxy what's, gamers in the house checking out the show. What's on the, oh, what's, oh, hold on a minute. Oh. Yeah, you got to. Oh, look at that wall. He's got some, uh, looks like toy was, biz over there. There was something on the yeah, floor. Dude, there was something some on the toy biz boxes. There was something right on the here, floor dude. as well. Well, Sean had mentioned this was the May 4th issue. Now, normally I just have Marvel on this wall. Yeah, it's but, a ton ton. I've seen him. Yeah, so I just put, I, I grabbed a couple things that aren't normally in this room because this room is just Marvel, but I wanted to make sure that I got Ooh, a couple. Of I need a ton ton. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, ton ton's good. Ton ton's good. I need that. Yeah, and also I could only I only had enough room for my workout equipment and so much area in my basement, so I had to leave some of it in here. So you'll you'll see my, my weights and my barbell. It's like stuff a store in there, man. It's really cool. Yeah, dude. Oh, I love I love those old. Are they toy bears? Yes, yes. Uh, what are the no, difference right. between those two hulks? Is one of them green and one of them gray? Or is... yes, this one. Yeah. Here? Okay. Yeah. Look no, the that, two bro. down below. Oh, Vern's gonna have a coronary right now. Yeah, I guess so. Okay, yeah, one's green. Holy they cow! Look, from a distance, they both looked uh, uh, gray. But yeah, those so are. This nice. is in par with our last guest, man. This is insanity. Yeah. Nice. Oh, there's uh, there's X. There's Wolverine. I'm glad you didn't say. Let me just give you a modest tour around my room. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, you could do a whole video on this for real. Yeah, dude, you got to do a video on this. Seriously, you know, I, 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 I think I did a couple on my channel of like little snippets. Just like I think I did this display over here. Oh, oh, there's more. Oh, yeah. there's more. Oh. Yeah. You didn't think dude, I was but, done yet, did you? I, I, I'm, I'm so glad you're not. 
Yeah, Can we see? Thousands Ghost loves those tour biz. Thanks for the super chat. Appreciate Dude, that. Dude, Thousands yeah. Ghost, I, I feel the same way, man. I, I, I have an affinity for the toy biz. I'm I'm with them. I saw you had a couple of them last week. What did you get? Uh, was it Psylocke? And Look at that collection. Yeah. Man. What's in the cabinet, Dan? What's in the cabinet? Uh, so this was uh, this is my X Men shelf. This is oh, my Blue Beast. Beast. I think it's all X Men, actually. Yeah, this is all X Men and Deadpool kind of combined nice. the two of them. Nice, nice, nice. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, oh, it man. seems like the chat's definitely geeking out here. Give me some. Give me some. Give me a rogue close up, Dan. Give me a rogue close up. Uh, I know you like the rogue, don't you? Wait, which one? Do you want this one? Mm. No, nineties X Men. We want the old. We want the old too. Yeah, the nineties X Men is the winner. Oh, there she is. There she is. Oh, there, there she is. is. <laughs> yeah, dude, oh. she's the winner. <laughs> That's the one. That's the one. I I I don't want to move it, Bob, unless you're you know unless you're done, man. Thanks, Tom. No, Thanks. He wants to see Phoenix. Is that the Phoenix on the next shelf down? Um, it's a custom. It was not actually. So I did even even Toy Biz back in those days had a heck of a time with some of these figures, and I could never yeah. ever find. That well, one. that's a that's a good job. Whoever did that. Oh, thanks. I did it actually. It was my. Oh, uh, fantastic! That looks really good. <laughs> it's a it's a Psylocke, uh, a Toy Biz Psylocke. Oh. Yeah, so that's, that was one of the ones I picked up last week. Was the Toy Biz Silo? It was, as a matter of fact. Yep, that's the one. Yeah. So I got a couple of customs if you want to see them in here. Uh, nice oh, bishop. Yeah. Nice yeah. bishop. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we yeah that time. bishop is awesome. Uh, Thousand Ghost said, "Where did you get those plastic cases?" Not sure what he's. Uh, so yeah. Yeah, the, uh, these cases right here, I actually, actually, the only thing in my room that I didn't build is this white shelf uh, and this uh, curio. Everything else, I just used acrylic. And did. A lot of time that looks good. And yeah. practice and, and mistakes. <laughs> I what's in the curio? Uh, what's, what's in the curio? Well, no? I, yeah, I apologize. I uh, let me see if I can get one of my spotlights over here for you. Oh, look awesome. at look at that. <laughs> yeah, everybody seems to be pretty impressed here. So I've got yeah, the. That's, uh, that's uh, pretty good. Couple more customs I got. You remember the fantastic Damn. four movie? Oh, look, yes. Yeah, that is. Are amazing. you are you missing the leg on that guy? Is that what you're? Oh, look at that. For? That is sick. For I sure. know. I'm not missing. I just honestly, I did that for comedy. I just think it looks hilarious with him just hanging yeah, out it looks there. Good. <laughs> yeah, I have the leg and the arm. It's the it's the Iron Man, I think, and the Captain Marvel. I just okay. Yeah. Yeah, I've got a weird sense of humor, so it, it tickles me to see him nothing, just sitting nothing wrong with that. that. I'm tickled. So, I'm, so tickled. I'm tickled. I'm tickled. Right. Yeah, that bow and arrow the, combo uh, yeah, is great. Was, yeah, that's beautiful. That's right. awesome. so Dan, how, how do you decide? How do you decide what you open versus what you keep in box, or do you do you try to do? Oh, that's uh, a good question. Use? That is an excellent question. So usually I'll hold on to it for a little while. There's very few that I rip open right away. What I'll do is I'll kind of, uh, you know, if unless I have two of them. So if I bought two of them, then yeah, no question about it. That's why I got the second one, right? But if yep. it's if it's the if it's just a one off, I kind of hold off onto it for a while, see how it fits in the display, see how it fits on the wall, you know, see if it. And this is another really, I wouldn't call it an OCD thing, I guess. Maybe you you could. Uh -huh. Um, but like the X-Men, you'll notice they all have like the same, cause there's a lot of different X-Men, but the ones yeah. that I keep in the package are the ones that have the same symbols, which is, is aesthetically pleasing to me. <laughs> so, yeah, no, dude, I, that, I, that's the best line too. Yeah. And then, you know, like the X-Force, I'll keep those in line together. So I try to keep similar ones together. So like I'll hold on to this. Like I said, like when when uh, who was it? Boom Boom and Cannibal came out first. Then we got Warpath or Sunspot with uh, Strong Guy Wave. So I was yep. like, and eh, you know, I'll hold on to them just to see if they make more of them because I almost opened those two up. And then I was like, no, nah, because they might come out with more. I'm glad I did because now I got the little line of them there. Oh, I'm sorry, you can't see what I'm pointing at. Yeah, no, I can <laughs> see it now. Yeah, yeah, I have that Warpath too. That's impressive. He's, so that's a cool figure. <laughs> All right, you ready to see the rest? Yeah. Yeah, dude. <laughs> okay, please, I got, I got, please, please. I got another wall and a half, then I'm done. Oh, Spider Man. Okay, yeah, Spider -Man. what is that? Uh, what's the story? And Captain America there. Ah, uh, yes, you remember those? Those are Toy Biz icons. Those were Toy Biz 12 inch line, well, 14 or something for the Hulk oh, wow. there. Um, those yeah. are actually pretty, pretty hard to find. I think even now, and they weren't that plentiful in the stores when they came out. 
I was lucky to grab these. They actually had variants too. I think if, if maybe somebody, if you guys know in the comments. Um, so Spider-Man, if I remember right, he had like a half mask. He came with a half mask. And I think they also made him not upside down. <laughs> Captain America had a full cowl. So he had, you can see, he's got the cowl kind of hanging back there. I don't know if you can see that or not. But it's hanging off of him. And they made one with him completely fully masked. And then I think they also did a gray Hulk and a green Hulk. <clears throat> Toy the Hoibas did a good amount of variants back in the day. They they did, and they threw and they didn't, you know, advertise it, at least not that I saw. So it was just kind of like they snuck up on you, like, oh, hey, there's a green one. I didn't even know that was out. Yep. Uh this stuff well, is that, kind of like my yeah. oh, sorry, go ahead. No, no, no. No, you go. Um, this oh, one is kind of like, Gladiator Hulk. Oh uh, yes, I know you like that one, don't you? <laughs> yeah, dude, I love the Planet Hulk comic. That that's one of my favorite comic book uh, arcs and of all time. I I uh, love Gladiator Hulk, man. That's an awesome one. Yeah, Dandy. Uh, uh, Jonathan Redmond says, "Do you build your baths or do you just leave them in boxes?" So there's a couple there's a couple couple BAFs here actually that was a good an, that was a good answer to the question that dude asked um that's, so Joe fix it um the original Red Hulk from Toys uh, excuse me Target the Target exclusive that's what that is um so I'll yeah it just depends on which one I can you know I have only so much restraint <laughs> so when I like like um there was a Toy Biz Joe fix it and I sold it years ago just needed some money you know I, sometimes I got to thin out the collection every once in a while instant regret hated myself so when i saw that joe fix it bath there was no question no hesitation <laughs> every single every single one of those got ripped open and i put him together i was so excited uh so the other ones i kind of it, i followed the same process so I'll, I'll piece them together like i have i just finished the kingpin baf i just finished him like a couple months ago because i finally nice. opened up silver, silver sable Who's uh, Fing Fang Foom? John wants to know from Super Awesome Deep Show. That's that should Fang? be a dragon, right? It's this guy, actually. Oh, the dragon, the big dragon. Look at him. Oh, yeah. that's so cool. I got a glare on here. So I get a better shot for you guys. So that's the Hulk from that, his. Hulk is so cool, that too. That is wow. amazing. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a good. That was a good one. I love that one. Great detail on the on the, on the legs and everything. Also veiny. Yeah. <laughs> and that face. Oh. Bob, I think I need to pee. Bob. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he is, and he is. Like, super, Hold it. Super hard to find now. Yeah. Do you have the Galactus bath? They're asking too. Oh, I, you know, that's another one of those that I slap myself for. Um, that's an excellent question. I know I have the, I think I have one part for him yet. So bullseye. <laughs> he is, that's the Galactus bath. Um, and I believe that's the only one I have left. I think I ended up selling that line. I don't remember why. I wish I could tell you. I had some moments of insanity. I didn't have enough room. I didn't have, uh, well, you can, you can see the room is my enemy. I just, my biggest <laughs> yeah, so space space everyone's in space spaces. Yeah, yeah, we're all fighting the, space. What? <laughs> oh my word! And it doesn't. <laughs> you guys thought that was it? <laughs> Dan, I, I have that. You know, I, he's we only have got a few A4 videos set on too. YouTube. You know, Jeez. Dan, that A four set is awesome. I, I is it? Yeah, dude, that is all aw- we. I I love that A four set. I bet John from Super Awesome Geek Show is loving this man. This is crazy. Yeah, I bet John's Burn, got some Burn, have you ever well. seen that green She Hulk? She's awesome, man. No, Such never a cool seen figure. Her. Yeah, never, did, never did, seen that one. She is did awesome. Red, did you guys see the red She Hulk on the shelf back there? Go on, nope. get it. No, go, go on, get no, it. Go on, get we it. did not see a red She Hulk. We, we, we want to see that. I kind of wondered if you is well because she's kind of hiding behind the other one with the. The bathing suit here. Oh, the bathing suit! Oh. No way, that's awesome. Yeah, that's yeah. really yeah. Go on, yeah. My camera's not doing. <laughs> you uh, she, she can. 
she could squeeze watermelons with them legs, couldn't she? Oh, huh. so yeah. you must have dusted this right before the show, or what? <laughs> What's it like? No, no, actually, yeah, it is kind of a hassle to dust. I try to keep. So when I built these, my intention was to make them as as minimal because I'm lazy. So I, I wanted to make as minimal effort as possible. Yeah. So with the exception of this shelf, which is constantly rotating because you know the um well like movies and stuff like that and the tv shows and with me opening up periodically this is kind of yeah. like a mobile shelf but okay you know, the rest of them yeah so you got a strategy yeah i do kind of. so sorry about the workout we oh, got to dodge here. that's a, that was a mirror i that's thought I there thought. was I another was, room so did I. <laughs> I thought it was, was so another funny, room too. And i was like what well, well actually there is, there is there is another room, oh, but I, I, I had to literally block myself out of it, so I can't get to it. But I have this is room one of three, so I have two more rooms. Oh, come on, come on, Don, come on! I sure wanted that like, red skull. Sure, the other rooms. Figure that was. Did you get that, dude? The the red skull. Yeah, I do have that. It's yeah. still in box too. You know what? Oh, I wanted Iron that Man. Iron Man. I totally oh. missed out on that Iron Man. So the chat, all, chat, the whole chat's gone mad. They're all saying we want to see, we want to see room two yeah. and three as well. They're, they're all saying it. Everyone's, yeah, like, ev everyone's saying it. You guys are gonna have to invite me back because I need to broadcast from a different room if I'm gonna do that. I had to move everything out of here to put it in the other one. I don't even have room to move in the other ones. So there's um, a couple super of writers. Or, super awesome geek says. Uh, I had to put pillows down to soften the blows because I've fallen <laughs> over a few times watching this collection. <laughs> I'm sorry, Geek. I'm sorry. <laughs> Dude, I love how you have uh, all the, the bikes there um, isolated like that. That's a really cool way to display yeah, them. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And, dude, I, that, I, I love you have Squirrel Girl, too. That's, that's so cool. <laughs> Heck, yeah, man. No one's left behind. Exactly. You guys don't, might remember these. I don't know if this was kind of when this was shortly after Hasbro took the license from Toy Biz for uh, doing it. And there was a couple of Toys R Us exclusives up here. The two packs. You guys ever saw those? Oh, you got Captain Britain, though. I can see Captain Britain. Heck yeah. Yeah, I hear you, David. Uh, one day I'll get a room, too, once my kids move out. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all those yeah. caps, oh, Josh Wallen. Yeah, Josh Look at all those caps, Josh. Yeah. Oh, dude, go go in close for Josh, man. He's he's gonna. All right, for Josh, anything, yeah, anything. yeah, yeah. Look at all those caps, buddy. Those are sweet. Did you see the? Dude, is World that War uh, is that like the Winter Soldier cap in like the blue and silver? Um, with the with like the blue and silver shield. Blue and silver, blue and silver. Oh no, that was uh, world. I, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It was world. It's, it was from the Winter Soldier. It was the yeah. yeah okay, yeah, yeah that's right. his Winter Soldier, dude. Oh, that one's cool. That's super cool. I forgot about that. Did you see the World War? Um, the World War One, World War Two. Kind of glazed over him a little bit. Well, oh, those two packs cool. are nice. Two pack with Nick Fury. I love a good two pack. <laughs> <laughs> and then that's it. I'm done after this one. So there you go. <laughs> the last one of all. Now, uh, you also tinkle in dioramas. Uh, yes. yes. So you oh, oh, look at that. Remember? The one in my videos, uh, Dan actually built me, guys. So Yeah, it looks um, fantastic, too. All of them do. I've seen your pictures and stuff like that. Oh, really that's good. awesome. I appreciate it. Thanks. That this looks really good. That one actually is the one from my uh, from my YouTube channel. Actually, this is just a little like I don't know. I wanted to do like a like an abandoned That's house, sick, man. scary house. You know, just something to put my horror figures. I think I used this one for Jason and uh, and Freddy. Yeah, you didn't even show us your horror figures. That's crazy. You must have a whole other mm -hmm. like neck area. <laughs> yeah, the neck is in the other room. <clears throat> well, uh, Dan, don't tell me you've got um, a Xenomorph collection. I do. Oh, Dan, come on Yeah, now. he's got everything. Come on now. I'm telling you. And there's my last one here. That, that that's so bit. sick. That is so incredible. Look at that. What is going on? How do you make Thanks. that, dude? How do you make that? What are you, what are you using to... 
So I use the same, I mean, a lot of stuff that you'll see these guys use, one? it's very, it's extruded foam. I think it's called XPS foam. It's just the, the foamular that you'd get, you know, at Home Depot, Menards, Lowe's, wherever you go. Um, I also use a little bit of craft foam. And then um, occasionally, basically, because all of my friends know that if they get like furniture or appliances or electronics to save the foam for me, because I'll, <laughs> I'll probably make something out of it. So if my uh, my buddy Thomas is on, if he's if he's watching, thanks again, man, because uh, he's helped me build like three dios now with just the stuff from his furniture that I've got. Oh, that's yeah, that's awesome. That is just so impressive, man. So so do you spray do you spray paint those or hand paint that brick? Uh, nope, that's all hand painted. Um, I do the sculpt with uh, usually there's a ceramic knife that I use or a small utility knife. Uh, like a hobby knife and then yeah. um yeah just acrylic paints man acrylic, acrylic paints and a lot of brushing yeah that looks good i'm gonna switch cameras here yeah I i'm trying to talk him into uh attempting like a star wars desert outside scene you know oh, I, th yeah. I think he I, th I think he needs to do a star wars jungle scene <laughs> with trees yeah, that those could go for Ghostbusters dioramas that he had. I was thinking Evil Dead because I've got this Ash figure that would have looked oh, yeah. cool in there. Uh, but Ghostbusters, I th yeah, if you check out Dan's channel, uh, I'm telling you, man, uh, all of his videos have his backgrounds in them, and there's more than what I just saw. So uh, I really enjoy you know all those videos. Uh, appreciate thanks. everybody here in the chat. So let's see. Yeah, thanks, guys. Caught up. Yeah. I'm gonna have a little lie, have a little lie down for a minute if that's right. Yeah, <laughs> I think yeah. we all need a break. <laughs> uh, so, should we quickly go into this week's pickups? Uh, did you pick anything up this week, Dan? I did actually. I got lucky. I know this is an old one, but I had pre-ordered it. I think back when it launched. Um, but uh, I finally got my Hellfire Club. Oh, oh nice, dude. Hold on one second. Yeah, here. let's go back. It came oh, on Monday. Man, I wish yeah. I would have had that. Dude, I love. I can't. I can't take them out, but I love mine. That yeah. that is such a cool uh, dude. I'm on the fence. I don't know if I want to take it out or not, but um, yeah, I'd be on the fence too. Uh, oh, I can't think of his name. Uh, Ryan Raymond. Sorry, Raymond John Raymond Arnold. So the Mattel take on Samuel Jackson, I guess. Oh yeah, yeah. I've seen a lot of people posting him. You're yeah, probably yeah. gonna put, make a video of him, I'm guessing, or you you're not. Uh, you know, I haven't I haven't delved into any of the Jurassic Park yet. I don't know. I could. I just saw those in the store yesterday. I I left yeah, them on the uh, shelf. I was really surprised I couldn't find. Uh, that I was surprised that I found them actually as yeah. easily. Thanks, as I Mark. Did. Yeah, the Hellfire Club is awesome. Can you open that up and show everybody really quick? Sure. Pull all those figures out of the package. Well, no. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah, I no, don't do that. No, I don't do that. I will. Like I said, I'm, I, need right, I need the right motivation. Somebody's got to push yeah. it. Oh, you'll get, no, you'll, you'll get it there. You'll get it there. That, those deserve a video. I won't let you do that. You need all right, to so get... this thing is amazing. You open it up and you've got Yeah, that is them. beautiful, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, dude. Isn't that cool? Oh, I don't think I could open it either. No. It gets it gets even cooler. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm not done yet. It gets yeah. <laughs> so this thing is it's got a piece on it um, that's attaching it to it. Did you did you open the envelope? I didn't open up the envelope yet. No, I didn't even touch the envelope. <laughs> Look at that. So it's got um, like a like a wax stamped old time envelope, and then there's the uh, the back. Yeah, the figures, and you can't get anything like that individually. Are they going to release those individually like that, do you think? Well, Who knows? So. Well, you know what's interesting? They might because um, I got that set with um, Medusa and Black Bolt from Comic-Con uh, when it was supposed to be an exclusive, but all those figures seem like they got re released. Oh, we lost Dan. Yeah. Oh, no, hopefully he comes back. All right. There he is. All right. All right. Nice. Here, I'll go back. No, yeah, he's still missing. Uh, he'll be back. His phone probably just got disconnected. But, yeah, everybody seems to be having a good time in chat. So, 
Who's up next for this week's pickups? Uh, all right, all right, I'll go, I'll go, I'll go. All Bob, right, let's go. Bob, Bob, get over here. Actually, we've had a really good day today, but we're not oh. going to show you. We're not going to show you everything because we've got four pickups to show, and then the mail came late on, and we've got three massive boxes. So I think a ton of pre a pre orders have arrived today. Um, so I'm going to save those for a, a different uh, a different video. But I have got a few nice little. I mean, you've got them in the in the states, but I've, I've only I've only just got them. So we got a Sarge. I just got mine like two weeks ago, man. Yeah, just arrived. Um, Bo Katan, beautiful. Those two figures are absolutely fab. The uh, 50th Jowers just showed up as well. So so we've got the Greedo Ben and the Jawa now from those three, nice. and the Remnant Stormtrooper showed up as well. Excellent. Um, so yeah, nice, nice little selection there. But Brilliant. like I say, we've got a stack of boxes, and uh, maybe I'll unbox one of the boxes when we do the unboxing. Um, but I've got a ton of I've got a ton that I've not even opened yet. So there we hey, go. What's up, Greg? Thanks for checking us out. I have everybody's links in the description if you want to see anything. Is that it, Rum? Yeah, but just look, just look at me, just look at me. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> just look, just look. Yeah, Perfection. awesome haul, Red Ranger, Chris says. Thanks. Thanks, Chris. Thanks. Right. Dan's back. Yeah, I don't know what happened, man. So I'm going to nominate the uh, dude. All right, I'll take Let's it. See you um, I got two pickups this week. So um, for those of you that watched last week um, or watched uh, the video I had about my uh, toy hunt in Columbus, I picked up several of the Toy Biz uh, figures that build the Mojo Build-A-Wave. And then I found on eBay this week the long shot piece. Got oh, nice. It. Yeah. So now I got another piece of Mojo there. So it's pretty, pretty excited to find it and get it all ready. Can't, can't wait and, for you to build him. Oh, dude, I'm so excited. And then I also found the final mojo piece on eBay. And yeah, that's uh, epic. this is that's called good. a first appearance Iron Man. And then there's a variant of this um, where it's all gold, but the gold variant is like three times as much. So we, we went with the silver and we got the uh, last mojo build a figure piece. Perfect. You got, you got so them. That's yep. I got them all now. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So nice. that's what Mojo will look like. So I found in the in the toy store in Columbus, I found Psylocke, uh, Luke Cage, I Baron Zemo, and I also found so I found both Baron Zemo. So the one I got with the Mojo build a figure had the Scarface, but then they also had this for five dollars. So I grabbed that piece, and then uh, they didn't have the Falcon, but <laughs> this is reverse. Sorry, they didn't have the Falcon, but um, they did have his build a figure piece. So I grabbed that and then, uh, ordered these two. Uh, ordered Iron Man and then long shot off eBay. But huh. dude, e even like I'm, mm. I'm opening these to build Mojo. Um, but I, I do love the toy biz packaging. It, yeah. <laughs> it, you know what I mean? There's just something about it, but I also appreciate that you get a comic book with it, but in and of itself, in and of itself, this is a really cool, like old school Iron Man figure. Did you show the, uh, the stat bar on the back too? Oh Yeah. <laughs> Love those, man! I used to used to wait for those just to see where they ranked people at. That's so cool. Yeah, that is cool. <laughs> that is really cool. So let's compare that to uh, <clears throat> to long shot. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that is a long shot for sure. <clears throat> but he does have a. If if there was a mullet bar, it would be uh, all the way to yes, the top. That's what I was gonna say. You got to give him some points for that. So those those are my two things this week, but I'm super excited because uh, I will uh, be building Mojo soon. So how about you, Vern? You ready to rock? Sure. I only picked up the Civil War Captain America, <laughs> and I put him in a video early in the week. That's why I don't have his packaging anymore. But um, this is another um, Goodwill exclusive. <laughs> oh my God! Does it again? Yeah. Does it again? The king. Does it again? The king. Hey, check this out, though. I was, uh, remember I showed these cards that uh, from last week? Yeah. I was looking through the cards, and there's a set of these. And I was looking these up, and um, these Wolverine cards are supposedly um, 
uh, pretty valuable. Wow. Did you see the price right. went up on the Stain Lee too? This rookie card. Uh, uh no, I didn't see that. I don't. There's no Stan Lee in here though. But uh, I was looking through them, and I was just amazed at like some of these are like um, 40, 50 bucks a piece for a card. That was that's insane. Interesting to me. That's yeah. insane. How much did you pay for the Captain America then at Goodwill? <clears throat> um, I think this one was like fifteen bucks or something like that. Is that but it wasn't the, the package. Yeah. No, it was the one in the. It was a single pack. And um, there was another figure that came with it. I left out out in my garage closet, but um, I only wanted this one. The other one, I'm gonna figure out what to do with. Oh, okay. Yeah. Nice. So that's it. All right, man. Well, let me show you what I got. Uh, I did a review on these, but I got that uh, Galaxy of Adventures Mandalorian, which is actually pretty amazing, isn't it? Nice. Yep. Look nice. at that. It's pretty nice. sick. Nice. But uh, for nine dollars and ninety nine cents, you know that's what you know kids should be having. And the stormtrooper is pretty cool, so I got him. But that's another cool looking figure for kids, man. He's just incredible. But uh, I wasn't gonna do it. I decided, but these went on sale on May the fourth for nineteen ninety nine on Amazon. So Ooh. I had to get Zeb. Yeah, Damn. can't beat him for that price. And I don't uh, know if I showed up. this last week, but uh, I got Z or uh, Ezra. Ezra. Yeah, I said I wouldn't do it. Is and, the uh, um is the mold any different to the red and black release? D uh, the mold, I have no idea. The dude, dude, do you probably know? have that video on his channel. Uh, and dude, Ezra, is Ezra is the second release any different to the first on Ezra? Um, I didn't actually get the first release, but the face sculpt is definitely updated. I know that. Okay. Nice. okay. Um, if you guys want to check out uh, everybody's channel, links are in the description. Or Dan, wait, what about Dan? Did Dan get anything this week? Yeah, they got the Hellfire yeah. Club. Yeah. Yeah, he oh, showed yeah, us. Sorry, you showed that. Oh, sorry. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Long day. Hey, before, before we go any further, I'm going to have to cut out now. So was before, I before you do, guys? before you do, hold on yeah. a minute. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Tell us about the cake. What cake have you got? <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking Just... it's a German chocolate cake by the looks of it. But I wasn't, didn't have anything to do with making it. So what kind of frosting? Know, what kind sure. of frosting? Looks like it's going to have like a. It's going to have like a, a chocolate frosting on it. It's not frosted. I think uh, my daughter's going to come in and finish it up right while dinner's cooking and stuff like that. So no, uh, that it's going to be barbecue, probably ribeyes, and then um, some some fruit and vegetable salads or whatever. No starches. Don't need them. <laughs> But the cake, the cake, the cake. <laughs> That's what you, the cake. I'll put a picture up later so you guys can see it. Thanks, 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 thanks. All right. Yes, we want to see the cake. Yeah. Okay, cool. All right, guys. See you later, later buddy. Hey, see you Happy later. Birthday. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. Happy, birthday. Yeah. Happy birthday. Have a good time. Make sure they have a good time. All right. Bye. Bye. Yeah, make sure you check out Vern's channel. Links in the description, guys. And uh, every week we're on alternate channels, too. So if you enjoy the show, Definitely uh, several of them are on a playlist on my channel and also on a nerd dude's nerdery, salacious rums and Vern's. And maybe you never know one, one day, Dan, you never know where we could go. Everybody in chat is welcome. Uh, just Everyone's so you know. welcome. Everyone's welcome. We're open, open house, open doors. All right. That's right. Uh, well, Vern was going to show the uh, May the 4th stuff, but uh, just quickly, what do you guys think of the Hasbro Pulse uh, little drop? Let's see if I got the banner for it. Well, I, I want the Clone Wars. Sure, um, do, you want me to, do you want me to find the pages while you're talking? Yeah, if you could do that, and then we can yeah. post it up and just go over you know, what we liked and what we didn't like. Yeah, okay. There was a lot of stuff released, wasn't there? There was a lot of Star Wars stuff. Yeah. Let's mm -hmm. see. I did pull up a thing. I got Dan, you collect, uh, you collect Black kind of. Series too, right? I do, I do. Like, um, just this is just a little uh, pile that I accumulated here Ooh. for the for this room. But yeah, I have a few of them. Yeah. Oh, cool! The little slider works all the time. There you go. Hey, check it out. You have a question? Ask in chat. <laughs> <laughs> it's just in. It. There you go. May the fourth Hasbro announcements. You did it. Yeah, but they did drop a whole bunch of stuff, and hopefully, we can show everybody what it is. 
Uh, yeah, just give me a second. Just uh... no problem. Well, now, uh, now, last week you and uh, Sean, you and Dude got. Didn't you both get at least one of those pieces from that comic books release of the Black Series, the Darth Maul, and the? Oh yeah, yeah I, I got three, uh, three out of the four. So I got Maul, um, uh, Kirk Canos, and um, yeah, yeah. Uh, Jackson. Jackson. Hey, I was trying to say I didn't want to say the wrong name because I couldn't remember which one. <laughs> Yeah, so, dude, those are cool. The boxes as well as the figures are super well done. I'm I'm thrilled with them, and the, I'm just so happy to have them all finally. Thank you. Yeah. Have I got Definitely. the right? Have I got the right page here? It doesn't That's seem fine. So. I'll I'll read some chat while you're doing that. Uh, Sleeping oh, yeah. collectible. Uh, thanks sure. again for the super chat. I can't click on it and post it on the screen, but I it sent another two ninety nine uh, super chat. So I appreciate that. He says, we have, uh, let me read it out loud. It says, you four are always having quality guests and shows. So, yeah, we really appreciate you coming on, Danny. I think you blew my expectations even, man. And I already knew you were going to be awesome. Uh, I wasn't expecting that. That yeah, was crazy. There's that mall box. Get that yeah. Beautiful, beautiful art. Oh, yeah, I didn't show mine. I got mine, too. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Uh, and then I just the both of us. I really appreciate how it opens up into a book. Yes. It's just a neat touch, man. It's a real yeah. neat touch. And then you got co comic book art. I'll try to get the light to hit it right. But you do have comic book art all along the side of it as well. Yeah. Very, very cool. So it's, it's it's large, but when you put it back, I mean it's totally displayable. That, yeah. that's, that's a nice little display piece. Yeah, that's what I'm doing with mine. I'm I'm definitely leaving it on display. Gilster says hit that like button. If you guys can, that would be awesome. Because it would definitely help uh, actually promote our show, which would be uh, cool. We can get even cooler guests on here. Not cooler, I don't think. A little. Uh, we've had some pretty cool damn guests. Did you just say we get cooler guests? Yeah. Well, I mean, <laughs> oh my god! Hey, I'm, man, I'm, I'm a old man. I'm a that on the way. Toys. Oh uh, my god! So here. Oh yeah, you got them all. Here's. here's <laughs> Here's the Carter Jacks one, um, which which really is Kirk Canos. Again, I, yeah. really cool. But look at how displayable that is with the Crimson Empire uh, comic book. Yeah, it is beautiful, man. I love that comic. And I do too, man. And, the and then you got channel if anybody wants to see yeah. them. And then here's the Jackson one as well for those of you who yeah. haven't seen it. Yeah, I can't yeah. wait to review him. I probably will review him. He's you just a fun to. character. The the legend, like I'm so glad they did some legends characters, man. It, it's just fun. Yeah, looks like a lot of people in chat. You know, as soon as we brought this up, you know, are getting rowdy in here. So I've got the Hasbro fan. I've got the Pulse site, so I can if you uh... okay. Let's see if I can. Uh, looks like I. I, I actually missed um, missed the event, so I didn't get to watch um, Blue's stream of the event. Um, go. cause cool. I was, cause, cause I was working, but I've got to say when I got back from work and I, and I looked at what was released, I didn't understand why everyone was getting so pissy because I thought, Oh my God, they've come out with some crackers again. Yeah. Anyway, amazing. Everything is amazing. Um, but, uh, I guess, I guess uh, people, I, I guess it's bad in the States when they're dropping these exclusives at different stores and stuff, which is an absolute yeah. pain. But... Well, I, I had my Admiral, what's his face canceled. Like Did I, you? I got yeah, it, I and then, they, and then the next now. day. Right. So I've never, I've never, I've never been on this site. I've never been on this site before. So I'm um, just trying to navigate my way around it. So I guess if I um, select Star Wars, yeah. Well, vintage um, collection. Uh, all of those are easily available. Yeah. So, so here's Echo. Who looks absolutely epic. Awesome, lovely car back. Yeah. Yep. I, 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 I thought I thought he might sell quite quickly and, and might be one that gets sold out, but no, he's still available in the UK online. And all of them here. are, to be honest. Yep, all of them are here. See which what else which is got. awesome, and I I don't understand why we couldn't do that with all the other figures. And and yeah. the other thing is, I'm still stressed out about when Obi Wan is. Going for go, you know oh, when when are they get when does that go up? Are they going to drop it at like three in the morning? Are they going to? Yeah. I thought maybe they would do it on May the fourth. Never, I kept checking my phone all day. Never showed up. 
Like, yeah. just tell us when that's going to be available. Who won the fan vote? I don't even know who won the fan vote. Uh, the trooper, the clone trooper. Oh, the Republic trooper. Yep. Oh, I don't like that figure. That's. Yeah. I think that's a badass figure, to be honest. Uh, it shocked me. I thought it would be Star Killer, man, all day. I thought it would be a Soaker, but yeah. I, I, to be honest, I like all of those. So let's see what else we got. This one's cool because yeah, I like you get. I like the. Mall is I, gonna be I, good. I, I like that you get the egg with the Jawa. Yeah. Let's see what else we've got. This wasn't announced, was it? The, the vintage collection Royal Guard, or was it? That was released. That was announced previously, wasn't it? Uh, I think that was previously too. Yeah, pretty much everything else we knew. Uh, the big yeah. hitters is Ahsoka and Maul are going to be in that same wave as the Jawa and uh, Echo. All, so we're all of these, ones. all of these were previously announced, weren't they? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I went ahead and ordered the whole wave after they announced it because they're all good. Oh, so this is new. The oh no, that's Incinerator Trooper. This website's yeah. strange. Where where's the new stuff? Showing a load of old stuff. There, there's a tab. If you go up, there should be on Pulse like a new. You should be uh -oh. able to sort it for what's new. I think. Is it okay? At least in the US one, you can. Oh, is it because I'm on the Hasbro American one? Won the fan vote. So is, Mark is thinks it it, it's rigged. Hasbro <laughs> won the fan. <laughs> let me let me stop sharing this for a second because because this sure. isn't the right. This site's no good, and um, I'll see if I can find maybe the American one's better. So yeah. I did. I was able to pre-order the um, Shock Trooper, which I'm I'm really yeah. glad about after watching Bad Batch. So I'm so, but I do have anxiety every time I look at my email for <laughs> for that it's canceled. <laughs> so hopefully yeah. uh, that one actually shows up. So I'm I'm pretty excited about that. Yeah, David Newcomb ordered three for his Ra Razor Crest. I'm doing the same thing. I hear you, man. Uh, Thousand Ghost says the Gaming Greats Vintage Collection figures are pretty cool. I actually saw pictures on Instagram today from. Eggman Studios. Mm -hmm. uh, so they've already hit in the UK those games. No way. Uh, vintage collection. Yeah. And they look sweet. They look really good. Uh, let's see. Oh, I found Zartan today at Target. So good job on that. That is uh, rare. Tebow is whack. Tebow is whack. Nice. That's an awesome figure. Uh, Gary Moore, Walmart on exclusives. Yeah, I hear you, man. Absolutely horrible. Yeah. Uh, anybody wants to help out John? Poor guy still needs a Firefly. Where's Vern? Man. Or AJ. Those are the guys you want to reach out to uh, on Twitter for sure. Hasbro Pulse is no good. Yeah. Uh, you can ask the dude about that. That's pretty bad. Uh, here's an easy link. Uh, there you go. The Flush. We can use his link. Okay. I've just got, I've just gone to Star Action Figures. Um, which has got them all on one page. And you, you might be interested to see this, actually, because this is the main UK site that people buy from, so you may not have seen this before. So, Yeah, so this is Star Action Figures. This is one of a few sites that we buy from, but this literally has everything that was announced and everything still available. So these are the ones that were announced. So this is the... Oh, the new Boba Fett, too. That Everybody's just gone crazy about that that was only available for like not even a minute i don't think uh, it's still available here so that's death star droid i don't know man that multicolored boba fett yeah is that sold out in america is that sold yeah out? Is people it? are going nuts about that i'll show you in a second oh no it looks like no here we go Still available, look. How? That's crazy. Yeah, you might want to snag a couple of those. I've already I already pre ordered, but I only ordered one, but yeah, maybe I should order a few more. Yeah, I'm like, gonna get one. I'm a sucker for these. I know people don't like them, but I love them. I just think they're they're nuts. I yeah. love the crazy pop art. Yeah, I bought Vader. Let's see what else is there was about three hundred pounds worth of stuff that released on one day. Yeah. It was bloody, bloody, yeah, ex bloody expensive. Uh, here's uh, Luke uh, Endor. Luke. Yeah, that's great. A lot of people. It is a repack though, and there's no, you know, ankle pivot, so it's going backwards. But it's fine. People, most people that buy those aren't really opening them. I would think. No. 
All are getting two. Yeah, the retro boba. But I guess if you're in the UK, you can still uh, pre-order that guy. Uh, yeah, and even these of, of these, are you finding these clone packs hard to find in in the states as well? Are you kidding me? Don't here, click on that. Wait, so all, of, all, all, all of these are available. Yeah, I've already pre-ordered. What? You get a disc. You get a discount if you buy all of them. So, oh my god, what the That's, heck? To be yeah, honest, these like, these these have been up for over a week, so they're still available. They, even, they haven't even been up here yet. No. I mean, it's obviously well, pre-order, so I'm they're gonna not. I'm going to figure out a way to order those, probably from there. Well, I can order them for you if you if you you know if you need me to. That's no problem. I mean, they've been yeah. up for over a week. That's crazy. When's the release Dude, that's date? That's crazy. This is what I was just uh, talking about when I was like stressed about the other day. June 21 and Star are pretty good. They don't have a track record of canceling pre-orders really. They they normally fulfill. So I've never yeah. I've never had a, an order not fulfilled by Star. Do they, whereas do they ship whereas to the US? I don't know about that. I don't know. Um what else was released? Oh this is nice. This was released, wasn't it? Um on the the Pulse event. The um man the um the Shock Trooper. Oh, what have I done? Not yeah, I got him, but I just got, like I said, a cancel cancellation uh, notification from Walmart. Uh, so I hope it's not him, guys. I, so he, I'm looking at I'm looking at this star, dude. I'm I'm blown away. I'm looking at this star website, and you can order all four of them in a pack in a set of four, and then it says yeah, limit, it's, it's it says cheaper. limit two, so you can or I could order you could order two, two sets. Of each. Yeah, yeah, I always I always order the multi packs because you get a discount if you yeah. order them all together. Do they ship to the U.S.? Do you want to check really yeah. quick? I, I'm looking to see if they do. All right. Yeah, that's uh, uh people in the pre-order too. Yeah. See, look, if you buy all three of the vintage collection, you get a bit, bit of a discount as well. You see. Yeah, yeah. I bought a whole case. I don't know how many comes in. It was like 109 bucks. Ah, uh, dude. It the says way. the only option is United Kingdom. Ah. Uh, yeah, it's just the, sh the shipping to America is so expensive. That's the problem. But um, yeah, even sleeping collectibles needs them. That tells you how demand those are going to be. Like how be how crazy. are those not how how are they up in all these other places and we haven't even heard about it yet here? It's crazy. This one's cool. Although he's largely a using the same model as the Darth Maul. I think the head's slightly different, but. I love these um oh, yeah, these, night, these night these night brothers from uh, Jedi Fallen Order are cool. Yeah, he's yeah, still I... available here. Yep, I grabbed him. It it, it is a repaint of the mall, but the face yeah. looks different and uh and he looks really cool. The thing I didn't understand is it was twenty seven dollars. Really? Yeah, so yeah. Twenty twenty two ninety five here, which is sort of standard really. Yeah, but it, it, it didn't make it like uh GameStop exclusive figures are normally twenty four. So did they just raise them? Don't know. He's normal price here. So this uh, flame troopers call as well from Jedi Fallen Order. I I was looking at this and it looks like it's got it's, it looks very Macquarie esque to me. Mm -hmm. Um, like it's an homage to some of those original designs from Ralph. Look at the helmet; yeah. it's just so cool. It, it does look really cool. And his, the arm it looks like he's it looks like it's soft goods under the um under the shoulder pad there. I don't know if it is. It looks like it is just you no know, on, on his shoulders down to the top of his arms. Yeah. It's very cool. That is a really cool figure. I, I suspect that cool that figure will be a lot cool be a lot cooler out of pocket. Look at the eyes too. It's like Vader esque. Look at the mask. It's just got like in the eyes. I don't know. See you later, Josh. Thanks for joining us. Really <laughs> cool. If you uh, drag the screen over to the left, Sean, um, yeah. we won't you won't cover up everyone's face when the chat comes up. Oh, is that what I'm doing right now? Uh, you know how we've got the people down the left hand side. If you drag the the main screen, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I'll show you how to do it after. Okay. So I think is that all, is that all of them? Oh, this one's weird. I, I haven't seen this. We'll talk about the bad batch later, I suppose. But I, I don't know who this guy is. Presumably, we haven't met him yet. Oh yeah, yeah. Admiral Rampart. Yeah, yeah there's that's... also a rumored four pack coming out. And really, I'm thinking we'll have Echo and Rex in there. That would be cool. Yeah. So God, that, so God knows who this guy is. That was the um, 
Well, he that was the one that I had canceled by Walmart. Yeah, yeah, mine too. Uh, it's kind of a. I didn't realize you get a little mouse droid. Look, you get a little mouse droid with him. So God knows who he is. It's a warrant, a, a figure. He must, he must have an important part to play in the the show. So I, I, I thought he was the guy that did the announcement uh, in episode two, who was like the hologram announcement about the chain link codes. All oh, right. I think, I think that that's maybe him, but I'm not. I'm just guessing. And then let's have a look at some Marvel. Or unless you want to see the helmet, I don't know if you guys are, are, are helmet buyers, but there was the. Uh, this is the uh, not the not the not, not the Night Watch. What are they called? Death Watch. Yes, Death Watch. Yeah, the Death, Death Watch. Watch. I'm playing They're too much Game of Thrones. Helmet for sure. The mold and all the parts on the inside. Yeah. Although the um, the the this looks cool. It's like it got a little heads up display. Wow. Oh, I didn't know there was something on the inside of it. That's huh. really neat. That's smart, Mark. Yeah, the insides of them are really good. Did they make that in a motorcycle helmet? Uh, I think they. I saw a motorcycle helmet of something. Well, it was a kid's bike helmet. And then Marvel. I, I don't. I, I think this was the only thing that was that yeah. released. That was announced, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Quicksilver. Yeah, that was and, a pass uh, for me. Yeah, except I want those uh, Ultron parts in there. So, oh, you're right. cool. oh, yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. uh, oh, yeah. Age of Ultron that. was a, a really cool movie. Yes, it was. He, he might come back as well, mightn't he? There's um, potential seeds for him to come back. Ultron, I mean. Yeah. So, I think, is that everything? I think it is. Think that's it. So, um, so I guess the main gripe with Hasbro is again its distribution and, and exclusivity in, in America. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> yeah, why do they do that? Just don't. Yeah, yeah, it's messed up. It, it's consistently just a, a stressful and frustrating mm-hmm. experience for all of us. Yeah. So, you know, um, it, but what, what's amazing is they rolled out the Shang Chi wave, and it was readily available. Like no one knew it was dropping, but all of a sudden we got notifications, right? And then you could order, you pick yeah. up online. Like I ordered, picked up online, and then uh, the only one they didn't have that I wanted was Death Dealer, so I was able to order it as part of it, and it was shipped to my house, and I had it four days later. I mean, and that was just an awesome, pleasant experience. I, I don't know why. I, I can't believe those clone figures went up already. That's yeah. crazy. That's I what John was saying in chat. I guess they did go up, and a lot of people are saying that they're not going up at all, and they're just going straight to the store shelves. Uh, well, you'll wow. have to let me know if, if you want me to order. If you guys want me to, you want, want me to order anything, just let me know. Yeah, it's starting to look like we may have to go that route. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. <laughs> Hands in the build a figure Star Wars gets a blaster. Well, I could be bribed with yeah. cake. I could be bribed with cake or, or sausages. May I offer you peanut butter uh, chocolate cake or chocolate oh, peanut butter cake? Oh, yeah. Is, right, that, so is, yeah. That, is that the one from last time? Is it still yeah, going? Yeah, that, that was my daughter's. Oh, no, that thing's long gone. But yeah, that was my daughter's 16th birthday cake. That, that thing is decimated. <laughs> we destroyed it. Did you guys watch the Bad Batch? Yes, twice yes. already. Yes. Gee. Yeah. Am I jumping That's the good. gun talking about that, Sean? I'm I don't think so. No. Nope. Man, what do we think? I thought it was really good. Last night I tried to watch it and I fell asleep. So I really watched one and a half of it. And then I rewatched it again this morning with my daughter. And it just uh, it blew my mind, man. Uh, so it, I like it a lot. I think Omega... There's a lot more to her than we think. Uh, and, you know, I'm starting to really like Wrecker, you know, how he got him out of there. That was yeah. really sweet. Uh, and I love those white, like, clone trooper helmets. I hope we get some of those figures because uh, I'll buy a few of those. 
And I also think, you know, they dropped Rex's name in there a few times. So I'm thinking. Yeah, Rex will be coming mm-hmm. along soon for sure. Yep. Yeah, because Echo's missing out of the Black Series. So we're going to get Echo, uh, Rex, and I think two others packed in. Uh, and I'm not sure who that will be. Well, there, there's there's probably going to be some villains introduced. We don't know yet. And then, yeah. the I mean, potentially you would think Vader might be involved at some point or some of the Inquisitors. Yeah. Because in, in the comics, Vader commands like a group of Inquisitors, mm-hmm. um, which are all trying to kill him. So it's like for Palpatine, it's like a feat of strength for Vader where he's got to kill them because they're all going to, you know, they're all want to take his place as the main apprentice. Yeah. I, I think we're going to see Vader to 16 episodes. It's, man, we're in for a, a long summer. It's going to be crazy waiting every week. It's funny because. Um... After two episodes, I care more about the Bad Batch characters than I did in their seasons in Clone Wars. Like yeah, I wasn't, I, was, I wasn't that bothered about them in Clone Wars. I thought, oh, they're quite goofy, quite funny. Yeah, but yeah. I, but, but they're first quite, en- yeah. they're quite endearing in the in the first two episodes. Like I said, mm-hmm. Wrecker, Wrecker's just, you know, you want to, he's a, you want to give him a big hug. Hunter's yeah. cool. Hunter is Hunter is so cool. Like he comes under so much stress yeah. from from uh, what's his name Crosshair. Yeah, puts him under stress loads of times, and he just stays ultra cool all the way all the way through. But yeah, yeah how I, he snapped at the girl, and how he snapped at Omega made me realize how I snap at my kids like that sometimes. And it's like ah, they're set putting all these messages in there, you know. Oh, that's right. He did. He did snap with her, didn't he? Yeah. But yeah, she, she's the twist, isn't she? So she's the. Yeah. Uh, um, and I don't know if I don't know if I still haven't worked out whether or not she's clearly, um, you know, the last of the clones, and she's clearly one of the bad batch. So she's got she's got special abilities. Is she, has she got a combination of all of their special abilities, or is it further yeah. than that? Is it further than yeah, that? Yeah, does she I'm, have I'm, a special ability they don't have? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Or is is it even force related? I don't know. Um, it's, it's possible. Cool. Yeah, I think she they're seems play to have at least like clairvoyance reaction. Are I think they want to know and make sure the fans like the character before they drop some crazy ball on us because they still have well, to they, repair. I'm sure they have it all planned out though, and it is yeah, alone. So I, I, I do feel I feel Filoni understands Star Wars and and their fans. I mean, if you look at the Clone Wars and Rebels, um, so yeah. But I it I I at least is what you said is a hundred percent right. Is it the Bad Batch was fine as part of Clone Wars, but I I really appreciate how the first episode felt like just the next Clone Wars episode in a way. How it started off and you had the announcer and all that, and I thought that was really cool. But then the um, episode two, by the end of it, I felt the same way. Like I actually really like all the characters and i'm i like wrecker i thought was going to be really annoying but he's actually very <laughs> yeah he's that cool. amazing? Yeah. yeah yeah the title the titles are very clever as well how they burn away I thought that was mm-hmm. really well done what do you yeah, think dan it, what do you think dan yeah did you watch have you watched them no nope, not yet no oh sorry <laughs> we're giving away no, no, no. You're fine. I didn't, I didn't yeah. hear any spoilers. Uh, yeah, see, yeah, there's no, no spoilers that's the part, yet. Uh, that Dan hasn't showed us. Maybe he can show us on another stream. But yeah, he's got all whole NECA. And, uh, I know he's into uh, a lot of like Japanese anime, but not quite. Like the guy, you know, the airbender and all that stuff. You're well, into the, a uh, lot of cool stuff. Avatar, yeah. Yeah. Avatar, last no, I'm going to watch we, uh that too busy with work man I, I this is my first free night this week other than you know with the birthday party and everything yeah, yeah I, I, I watched bad bad batch right before we jumped on like i finally had a chance to watch it so take care dave <laughs> later dave you, you'll enjoy it man it it just it's just a really good show it's enjoyable so far and they've you know they've managed to take five you know whatever four or five characters that were you know, just in another show and, and make you really care about them after the first two episodes. So Yeah, absolutely. Um, and you don't even have to watch the Clone Wars to enjoy it because it takes no, place you don't, right you after don't, Revenge yeah. of the Sith. And what I do like is that I think is we oh, get to okay. see like the early Empire. I think that's really cool. You know, because it's the Empire literally minutes after Order 66. So, you, I mean, you get to see how they, we're going to see how they took over. And I, I think that's, I'm really interested in that. I think that's really cool. 
Yeah, I think it's a good and and these shows are a good substitute for like you know the the movies, especially since they're not uh, you know catching up with all the filming and everything. I'm assuming still yep. from. Uh, so filling up with these shows is kind of like you know taking the place of Rogue One and uh, Solo and all those other little you know yeah. filler movies, right? So yeah, I, I do love the the gaps <laughs> getting yeah. detailed. Yeah, yeah, because otherwise we'd have no Star Wars this whole time. That'd be a bummer. Yeah, right. We do. Yeah, that'd be a bummer. But yeah, I'm 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 very much looking forward to seeing the early days of the Empire and and uh, the the propaganda. The conquering of world, you know, I mean, just like I said, making people reg- register with the chain link codes. I, I think that's, I, I'm very interested to see how they uh, show that and use that for storytelling. Yeah, they're giving a bit more of a backstory to the chain codes, aren't the, the chain? Yeah. Uh, is it chain codes or chain codes? It always sounds like they say chain, chain codes, codes, but yeah, yeah. Yeah, chain codes. So we got a lot of new people in the chat. Wrecker is getting dangerously close to being too much like Zeb. For his taste, yeah, similar, <laughs> similar traits aren't there in a lot of the stories. So yeah, he's he's your, he's your typical easy Mister T, isn't he? Well, that's what I saw too. People were saying it's basically the Ninja Turtles because you got Tech is you know Donatello and uh, you got Raphael and Michelangelo, but yeah, you you have to have these archetypal characters, though, don't you? That's part of storytelling. You know, there's always archetypes and mm-hmm. yeah. You know, you find them in a lot in a lot of. Exactly. Yeah. So, you guys see anything new on TV this week, or watching shows, or want to talk about any of the, any of those things? <laughs> oh, it, it sounds like it sounds like we've all had a really busy work a week. To be honest, a work yeah. a week. Of the yeah, busy dude, work week. It, well, let, it's well. been it's been rough. I I watched yeah. episode seven of Invincible, um, so I still have to watch episode eight. But episode seven was was pretty good. So if you haven't checked that out, it's a dark uh, superhero cartoon it's on uh, Amazon Prime. It's a very very cool show. Yeah, my wife was talking about that. She was actually going to watch it while I was on here. It was one of the things she was talking <laughs> about. <dude. laughs> Speaking of, yeah. you. Uh, did you get some? Did you get some flowers or jewelry for Sunday to make up for the live stream invite on Mother's Day? Oh yeah, yeah I no, that. That, that's uh, that's the yeah, that, that, that's already moved to the following Sunday. <laughs> but in fairness, Mother's Day is never this early in the month. No, it's always yeah. like mid to end of the month. So I, the first, you know, what I mean, the first weekend in the month, I was I was shocked, but I I immediately uh, checked with the guys at uh, out of the basement. And we moved it to. Uh, to the next Sunday, so I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> yeah, no, it threw me up too. Well, the funny thing was, a lot of people were like, "Wait, it's Mother's Day Sunday." <laughs> oh. Yeah, it looks like. But I, I guess bad on the flip or... side, on the flip side, I'm glad. It's almost like having that calendar invite made me see that it was Mother's Day. <laughs> so, in a way, it, it was very helpful. Do you guys have Mother's Day in the UK, Salacious? We do, but it's um, not at the same time. So, I, in fact, I'll just, I'm going to have to Google it because I can't remember what it is. Let's have a look. Um, but yeah, we do. That It's Sunday the 27th of March. Yeah, we've already had it. So, yeah, I don't know why they're different days. I have no idea. International law? I don't know. Yeah, the only thing I've watched, uh, I bought the Minions four pack bundle because it was like I think, uh, you know, four K for maybe fifteen bucks for all the movies. Uh, so I've just been watching those with my kids. You can't get enough of the Minions. So. The Blu Ray. What's that? No, they're four K. Uh, I buy everything on Vudu all the time. Oh, uh, and it did- was like fourteen ninety nine for the four pack, and we already had like Despicable Me two and three. And we were missing a few of them, so I just bought the whole uh, bundle. And there are movies you can watch anytime, you know. Oh, yeah. yeah. Laugh. Like so, when I t- so when I turned Disney Plus on the other day, um, there's a ton of new Star Wars, like mini documentaries and stuff. Oh, yeah. Have you had that? Oh, okay. Tell us about <laughs> those because I've not seen any of them yet. Well, uh, one of them is that uh, I think it's called Bioroms. I don't know what it's called off the top of my head. Uh, but the first it shows Hoth and it's just like a camera, like say you're on like a GoPro 
uh, on maybe a hand glider and you're slowly going over the planet and you can see the Battle of Hoth. Uh, and then they show, you know, the Battle of Crate. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, it's just really cool, man. And then also, oh, yeah, there's one where they show a land speeder and you're like chasing a land speeder. So they're definitely worth a watch. Is it and CGI? Then, is it CG, CGI? Yeah. Or, okay. Well, it That's almost cool. doesn't look like it. It looks realistic. And they even go to Mustafar, which is really cool. And I was hoping they would go inside Vader's castle, but they don't. And then they also have the ships where it goes inside the Millennium Falcon, inside the Star Destroyer, which I did fall asleep on that part. So I'll have to rewatch that. Uh, do, and then, of you course. You guys also do that, pass out on the couch watching, trying to watch a TV show late at night? Because I, I, I did that two nights in a row trying to, trying to watch Bad Batch. Yeah, yeah Bob, I do that Bob, every night. Bob always falls asleep. Yeah. Always That's, on the couch, dude. Yeah. It's, it's amazing. Like, it's amazing. It's great. We all just then we order pizza. Yeah. <laughs> so, do, so do you get woken up by the pizza, or you order pizza when you wake up? No, no. Bob falls asleep, and then I steal his phone. And, and then you it. order the pizza. I got it. I got Sorry, it. Yeah. <laughs> so, have you guys seen Yellowstone? I guess everybody's talking about Yellowstone. I haven't. No. In the chat. I have not seen it. Yeah, I fell asleep watching Bad Batch last night and watched it again in the morning. It's good to watch it in the morning. I totally morning. fell asleep. I, I legit twice fell asleep trying to watch it. Well, and it, it Danny, wasn't because it was bad. It was really good. It now. <laughs> no, no, it's, it, it had nothing to do with, with the quality. It's just I, I fall asleep. I always think like, okay, I can get this in and I'll start something at like 1130. And be like, I can, I can make it to like midnight or 1215. And then next thing I know, it's like 140. Yeah. So what's this Yellowstone then? I'm just searching it now. Oh, it's Kevin Costner. Oh, yeah, he's a good actor. I have not seen it. On Paramount Network. But I don't think we get that over here. So, All right. So how about uh, opening something? You want to show your can candidates, uh, dude, really quick? To the yeah. Chat? Let them pick something out. We can show. All right, so live unboxing candidates this week are. Ant -Man. Ant -Man. Did you guys hear that too? Paul Paul Rudd, smirk face Ant Man. Yeah, he looks good. We got uh, Shutterstar, Captain <laughs> Captain Marvel. Hey, there's my mm -hmm. arm for my abomination. And then Malekith. Yeah. What do you guys think? Let us know in the comments which uh, which your vote is. All right, what do what do you guys got for your unboxing yeah. candidates? Interesting, interesting. Do you do you got anything, Dan? You wanted you to got open anything, up, Dan? Or? Yeah, I mean, I can open. Hold on, give me a second. I'm, I'm sorry, I actually forgot. I forgot I set this over here. I don't know if you guys oh, are uh, Shatterstar and Ant Man. Oh, oh, cool. yeah, that's nice. That's yeah, something dude. you don't see too yes. much on this show. So we'd yeah, like that. Yeah, dude. Is that's that pretty... is that from the new game that's not released yet? Uh, this is from Halo. I should know this. Sorry. I don't know. Falling? <laughs> I'm probably going to get yelled at here in the comments for not remembering which game he's from. So so I mean, you're good, you're good. One, if I'm not mistaken, though. You're good. You're good. <laughs> we're, 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 I don't think our group's like that. No. <laughs> Everyone's pretty cool. I'm not like Sean Heckler's, uh, Heckler's on uh, his channel. Then I got yeah. the, nope. Samuel and then the Hellfire Club. Don't open that Hellfire Club. Don't do it. Don't yeah. do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. You, uh, you want to make a beautiful I, I say Halo. Halo, it. Halo. Halo, Halo. Halo. Yeah. What about you? So, that's like, like Ant Man. What about you, about Bob? You? Um, probably one of these three. I have got some. I have got some huge boxes over there that I've not even opened yet. So I could do that. Or you want, you want to do uh, package roulette? See, see what shape they're in, how they came. Yeah, I tell you what, should I do that then? Rather than that, I'll grab one of the boxes and we'll do a roulette. Yeah, yeah. I love that. Let's do that. Okay. All right, what about you, Sean? Um, let's see. What do I have for candidate? Let's see. Who is uh who do we got here? Oh, 
uh, off world Jawa. I'd really like to check this dude out. So, oh yeah, dude, I I still have mine in box. That'd be cool. And you know who else uh, might be a good idea? Hmm. Uh, I'm not sure, man. Shoot, I, I always get like this when we're here. I can do some Muto. I got loads of Muto. If anybody wants to see a Muto, just pick a random one. You know, I've got every um, uh, Manny faces, a Roboto, you name it, we got them. Yeah. So you guys could compare. Or uh, better yet, I can open another Luke. Uh, so yeah, how about Off World Jawa or uh, Archive Luke Skywalker? My vote's for the Jawa, but I'm I'm most excited. I'm I'm excited for Bob's uh, <laughs> box of. <laughs> Bob's box, and then uh, I want to see that Halo figure, man. Is that? Yeah. I don't think we've had a Halo figure on here yet. No, I've never seen one. Really? So, so we, so we did get a vote for Shatterstar, but uh, I'm not, I'm not emotionally ready for that. I'm sorry. We got a vote for Ventress. <laughs> I don't. I'm just not ready to open him. I did say if if we ever get up to 100 people watching the stream, I'll, I'll open Shatterstar. Yep. So and that, that tells you how likely I, I'll be to uh, to open Shatterstar. Uh, so it looks like so far time. Ant-Man is in the lead. Ooh, we got a Jawa for me. Thank you. No, Hellfire Club is not allowed. We no, could, dude. Man. We'll I boot know, him but, off the show. You can't do it. Yeah, well, it's just, you know, Dan deserves a lot of views. He makes really good videos, yeah. guys. Uh, he's only got like 200 subs. Definitely check out the description. and uh, Or maybe more now. You got like 400 or? Three, three, actually, three, fifth, three, 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 oh, something. Okay. Three, oh. So you're getting there. You're getting so, it. Sure. That's the hardest part, man. It is so hard. It's yeah, hard. dude, tell me about it. <laughs> All right, I'd be so, happy to open any of these three figures tonight. All right, we're going to go with the dude. All right, so what was the consensus? Uh, I see Ant-Man Ant pretty much. Yes, yeah, so I am uh, right. everywhere. Let me, uh... I'm just going to mute my mic and be right back while you're doing that. Oh, wrong side. There you go. See. So I, I, I carefully, I still keep all the boxes. And then this had to be, uh, I got this off of a big bad toy store. So it's interesting always seeing a label like that on the back. Yeah. What is it? Is that international packaging? Yeah, they probably got it overseas or something. Uh, We do have the abomination uh, bath piece. So we'll keep that in there. And then, so let's see. The satisfying that's, friend. That's actually pretty cool. That's way cooler oh, than yeah. Spider. All right, check that out, man. He's got the. Yeah. Uh, you know how Shang Chi has that gradient on his uh, on his jacket. So this has that same kind of gradient to it. Pretty neat figure, man. Wow, I'm I'm actually really, really. I was not expecting this to be this cool. Um, and then uh, Paul Rudd's uh, smirk face. That's yeah. not a bad likeness, actually, is it? To be fair, it's not, not bad. bad. No, I, it's pretty good, man. I'm I'm actually really really impressed with this figure. I I did not think I was going to be. So normal body articulation. Um, Double pin at the knee, you know, shoulder comes all the way out. Let's see how greater than 90. That's pretty good. And then, yeah, he's the cut and the swivel. Um, that also comes with his Ant-Man helmet. Let's see. Oh, it's a different. Okay, so it's not a helmet, but it's a, it's a second sculpt. So, actually, if you wanted to, you could hold him like this, and you could be pose him like that, and then have him uh, holding the helmet. Very cool, man. Thank you, guys. Great choice. Very happy with that. Good job. Yeah, man. Look at all that detail on there. That's impressive. Oh, his, face, his sculpt in that uniform, that um, the outfit. Yeah, it's it's pretty impressive. All right, man. Thank you, everyone. Great choice. All right, who's up next? I'll try. I'll try his Ant Man helmet on. Ooh, that's even cooler. Look at that. Now you need a wasp. Do you have a wasp? I, we do have the wasp, yep. 
I am going to steal it with from my daughter. <laughs> Pose her with Ant Man. <laughs> yeah, at least for a few pictures, right? And, uh... Yeah, no, no, they're gonna they'll be in the display together. I'm just gonna steal it. The <laughs> um, yeah, dude, uh, it's a cool Paul Red face call, but this helmet is is 100 yeah. percent how it's getting posed. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, a lot of people are digging that. Uh, I picked up the wasp. Didn't you say you picked up the wasp? Was four Did you already tell everybody? Yeah, the wasp is a cool figure, and it has one of the better uh, photoreal faces, I think, from the MCU. It really looks like Evangeline Lily, and then the helmet is just as well executed as uh, Ant Man's is. And her her uh, her suit is actually really cool too. Yeah, I, I love that wasp figure. Totally blew me away. Total peg warmer too. All right, so, I want to see that halo. All right, let's check out the halo. Show me, show me the halo. Yes. Looks like we all got right. the chat is wild. CJ popped in the house, and everybody's going nuts. Meal. There we go. And as Sean would say, you've got some writing on the back. <laughs> All kinds of warnings and hazards from China and its small parts. And... So this is a preview of what you get to see on Dan's channel, guys. Except you get an awesome diorama in the background. <laughs> so well, uh, like Dan, to... Dan, will you remind us who makes these? I can't remember who makes these. Um, is that, I believe is that is... A... Uh, uh, What's their names? The the ones that do the Fortnite figures, Jazzwares. Okay. Jazzwares. Yep. Yeah, well, they, uh, basement uh, reviews those a lot. Uh, I've seen. Looks like we got a lot of Halo him. fans in the chat. He's got a lot of extra hands here, so there's I I, I do like that. And these, sorry, I know this is loud. That's right. The nerdery loves that sound. <laughs> Oh, he's got a piece. That sound is good for the soul. It is. They added a sneaky little one of those clear plastic tabs. All right. I assume you guys want to see the... Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That is... I don't know if this is going to do any, any justice. Oh, for... man. That is sick. Kind of reminds me of Call of Duty, that one guy. Yeah. With the skull mask. Mm -hmm. From but Black the armor, Ops. yeah, the armor is just off the hook. Yeah, look at the, I don't know if you can see. Can you see the the weathering? They've got some yeah, detail. Yeah, dude. Yeah, that is that, That's to me. That's what sets these apart. You get like a flat wash or a solid color on some of the Hasbro's, and it's like you know, just a little bit of paint like that can make a the world of difference on on the amount. That of helmet sculpt too. is is so. Can you can you try to get a close up of that? That is so cool on the helmet. That yeah, it, there you go. Sick. Yeah, oh, dude, he, the face almost looks like a xenomorph, like big chap. A that little bit. Oh yeah, dome. yeah. Yep, I can see that. So he's got he's got a lot of armor, but I like that he's he's really poseable. He's even got the uh, the toe joint, which uh, Jazzwares does a lot. So you you don't see that very often in um, any other figure lines. And I remember we were talking about Toy Biz earlier. Uh, they used to do that. They used to have the the hands. They could join. They would have the joints like this, and they also had the the toe joints like this guy does. I see he's got a knife. It looks like I thought it was a weird. I thought that was a weird piece of his armor, but the there's a knife. I'm guessing that goes in there. Oh, sick. And uh, the nice all detail too, the handles painted and all that stuff. Looks like it. Yeah. Not too bad. You can see the brown from here. Yep, it's got some sculpt. The gun. And this is another one I'm probably not going to get a good, really good shot for you of. But no, that's a gun. knife. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's a nice little double barrel right? destroyer right there. That's really good detail on that, yeah. Yeah, it really was. I mean, for and for these, the price point on these. I mean, nineteen ninety nine. Love these Halo figures, man. They just did such a great job on these. All right, and then I won't bore you with the extra hands, but you got like a grip hand, a signal hand, 
it looks like you can see that he's got like a hand that's going like this. He's got an open palm and then fist. You got one, two, three, four, five. You got all those extra hands, three extra sets, plus all the detail. Definitely, definitely got to get him if you're the uh, if you're digging in these these Halo figures. I don't know if he's. I know somebody mentioned in the comments earlier about the. Um, yes, butterfly joint. It's very, very mild. You can see right there. It yeah. does come on. It's like it's like a. I don't even know if it's called a, a butterfly, but this this whole thing is moving. You see that? Yeah, here's out of the basement. He's the one I've seen reviewing these figures a lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, uh, Justin. So yeah, the um. Well, Nate, those oh, Nate. Nate. What up, Nate? Nate, bro. Nate dog. Nate, we were, we were just laughing about the uh, uh, calendar snafu <laughs> for Mother's Day. <laughs> Nate dog. Right, so yeah. Total pulsatility here. Ouch. Go with that. And they're stiff. They're good. They're good, solid joints. Like again, like I said, you can't you can't beat what Jazzware is doing with these. And I hope they I hope we see more lines that they get licenses for because they do really. I think they do a good job. Have you bought any a couple those Fortnite of Fortnite figures? They make they make those too, right? Fortnite. I, I did. Yeah, the uh, a couple of them actually, and I'm I. <sighs> Gotta stay. I have to draw the line somewhere. <laughs> I don't want to have yeah, so dude. much room. Yeah. Let's photo shoot with the Halo figure. Oh, it's coming. It's coming. What's up, Crossroads? Or Cobra's Road. May 16th is a hype stream. All right, that's it. Anything else you want to see on him? No, you got to take uh, pictures. Well, of course. Yeah, I think I can probably figure some photos out for this guy. Post them on Instagram. Heck yeah, man. <laughs> All right. So, Rum, you ready to rock? Yeah. So, um, so these are the. This is what. Hold on a minute. This is what has arrived today. So, this I'm pretty sure. I don't know what's in them. This, I'm pretty sure, is a box from Star Action Figures, you can tell. So that's probably got a combination of maybe three tag? or... Sorry? For Gile. <laughs> what? What's... Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, it's fragile for Gile. Um, so that's 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 probably. Have you never seen that movie? It's like, what is he on about? Uh, so that's probably got a combination of Black Series or Vintage Collection, but I don't know what. That's a smaller Star Action Figures pack. I have no idea what's in it. I think that one is is a, is a black and red black series figure that I bought off eBay for Vern. So I probably don't want to open that one. And this one on the top, I have absolutely no idea what it is and it's really heavy. So that, I have no idea what that is. So there you go. You, you can, can you, if you pick up, pick a box and then, uh, if the, if everyone lets me know in the chat, um, big, middle, small or heavy. And then, oh, the big um, box. we want, oh, the you big want me box. to do the big one. Okay. Yes. We want yeah. the big box. All right. Okay. Well, perhaps, uh, I'll put the camera down. If you go on to Sean and then I'll, I'll prep it. Cause I need to rip the label off. So you don't see my address. And, uh, so I'll come back to Sean and I'll be back in a second. Sounds good. Okay. So I think I saw a Jawa, uh, off world Jawa or Luke. Jawa. So, so we're going with a Jawa. Uh, yeah, definitely everybody drink, uh, drop links to the channels would be cool. Everybody in here, there's going to be a really wild, I think top 10 black series show on out of the basement and a nerdery is going to be on there. Uh, I think they're yeah, mentioning that uh, May 16th or something. Yeah. We're going to do a, uh, a 2021 black so series. Like draft, Jawa. So. Luke, yep. Jawa. So every uh, any it's figure easy. that has been uh, released or available to pre-order is on the board, and uh, yeah. we're going to do an elimination draft. All right. It's just uh, all right. All right. So we're opening this off-world Jawa. Pretty wicked little Jawa there, but this guy's cool. Uh, I do have my other one handy, so we can actually see the differences on this guy. But let me open him up. 
Now, you know what I do off camera normally? I just slide the tray out through the bottom almost every time. Uh, and then I'm just really rough with these guys. I don't mind at all. I just grab it from the shoulders, usually push it out, and just rip that bad boy out of there. So this guy is cool. I'm going to have to be careful with his little flamethrower. Uh, so he is free from his plastic prison. And so far, pretty damn cool, man. Utini! Yeah, definitely Utini going on there. Uh, he comes with this little gun. Does And it looks like, yeah, there is a little hole at the end. So I wonder if I can put some flames in there. Maybe I'll try it out uh, while we're checking out. Let me just quickly put this dude's flamethrower on. If it's anything like the other Jawa, he has a hard time holding it. It's kind of like uh, Quill. You know how Quill has that weird weapon? Uh, no, but no, this one looks cool, actually. Damn, that's pretty sweet. Uh, the head is actually hard plastic, but you can't really see on camera, huh? It looks all the same, which is great. But, man, I am stoked to have him. The red eyes. He is awesome. I got to get I, I got to get one of my Jawas out someday. Yeah. Uh, Did you get legs. Did I get what? Did you get him from Dorkside? Uh, no, this guy I got at Walmart. He was a peg warmer around here. So, one I day him. I just – I think there was a drought. You know, after this wave, they hadn't released nothing for a while. And then that one day they released the Falcon and all kinds oh, of yeah, craziness. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, that's the off world Jawa. He is a nice cool pickup, buddy. Dude. Thank you. Need like five or six of them. Really yeah, yeah. I wish I did have more of them. Well, that's why I asked you about Dorkside. I, I last I looked, they were on sale. They had them on sale. They still do. Might be worth yeah, a try. Yeah. Well, shoot. I could open up Luke. I don't mind. I'll save him for next week. So make you guys tune in next week. You want to see Luke. Uh, give him a team. Yeah. <laughs> bring him. Got something. Bring him back. Uh, so I am Greg, Greg says. What hmm. order? What would well, you that, say? That's a, that's a broad question. Like what. Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> that'd be the that'd be the first thing I want to know is like just to narrow it down. We have food. We can always go that route. Yeah, are we talking about food. Oh, dude, hot dogs yeah, on Twitter. Hot dogs, food, Taco Bell. What's your Taco Bell order? <laughs> I'm I'm ready for some Taco Bell. What about? Uh, so did you guys do so pre orders this week? We already talked about. <laughs> yeah, drags. Uh, subscribe to Dan. Maybe he'll uh, release a video on that. <laughs> don't you have one, uh, dude? Don't you have one on the nursery of Hellfire Club? Yeah, or are you just no, no, showing no it way. Off? My um, <laughs> oh yeah, dude, I showed it when I got it, I think, but I I did not take those out of box. No way. I don't know if I did or not. Maybe I did. Right, send me in, Sean. Send me in. I need okay. I need to get, I need to get in this box now. All Let's right, get in there. Let's roll. We need to see right. you get in that box. So let's just do. So this is from Star Action Figures. So there's no way, dudes, that the that the figures in here will be damaged. They pack really, really well. But I genuinely don't know what is in here. So uh, a little incision on the top. And then I'll move the camera so that you can see what I see. So typical, yeah, this is the iconic now green bubble wrap from Star. Let me just turn this other light off and it might... <laughs> Chicken so, chalupa. <laughs> there we go, that, that's better. So this is pretty indistinguishable as uh, just very clearly Star action figures. They use this all the time. Right, oh, we've got a case of something. So vintage collection. Ooh, that's a nice one. So these are quite old, actually. I was hoping for some Black Series, but... Uh, Ooh, another nice one. So I've got him already. I think I've, I think I've got both of these already. So these are duplicates. So he'll be an opener. <laughs> and this is a case. 
Ooh. Right, I'm going to have to just... Hold on a second. Let's get the case out. Chicken wings are always good. I beat the only chicken wings just won it for me. Yeah. I'm slightly disappointed because I was hoping it was Black Series. And instead, well, it's a case... Delicious. You know what that means. You got. You just got to open the medium-sized box. Open another one. <laughs> yeah, you just got to open the medium-sized box. We got to play roulette with that box. So, do you want to look in this one? Yeah, we do. Oh, no. There's Black Series in there. <laughs> All right. You still got to open the other box. <laughs> okay. I thought this was... Um, I need that Hellfire thought... set, too. I hear you. I thought it was Vintage Collection, but that's very clearly Buy Black two. Series, isn't it? Send it my way. Sorry about that, Rome. <laughs> very clearly. You can tell, look. They've shoved yeah. a load of Black Series in there, look. Ooh, I'm, I'm interested to see how the cases are packaged, actually, because they're all angled. So, let's do one at a time. Oh, nice. I see how they fit. That's perfect. Yeah. So, we've got a very cool. Quill. Quill. Do you get a whole wave? Let's have a look. Grand Moff. Wheel. Uh, Grand Moff. I think. Very underrated. I think, that's a, I think that's a double. I think I've already got him. Can't remember. Yeah, Sometimes I, I, remember. I order twice. Yeah. Oh, that's a, a, that, that, that's a double as well. Yeah. Yeah, she's a double. So I've got a spare ray if anyone wants a ray. Who's this one? Grief Karga. He's another good one, yeah. Yeah, he's a good figure. I like Grief Karga. Oh, Crosshair. Nice. Yeah, cool. he's going to be hot really soon here. You know, Sean, you, you said this. In the season. Dude, Sean, I, I remember when they announced that the Bad Batch wave, and I was like, yeah, you know, it, it was okay in, in mm -hmm. Clone Wars. Not sure if I wanted to buy it. And you're like, dude, you got to buy those because you're going to regret it, and they're going to be yeah. crazy expensive. And you were right, yeah. dude. I'm so glad I bought them. Yep. Yeah. That was a good sage wisdom. Hunter. Nice. He's cool. <laughs> and then there is some vintage collection in there as well. Ooh. Oh. Oh, Bush Oh, yeah. yeah. I'd love that. Beautiful card. I, mean, I, I need a Black Series version of that, please. Oh, I know. And there's one more in it. Hopefully, Return of the Jedi. Uh... Oh, he's a good one. Claw 2, Skiff Guard. Very good. Cool. So they managed to get two vintage collection. No, four vintage collection. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven Black Series in that one case. And they all came in what looked like perfect condition. And they're all mint. Absolutely That's awesome. Mint. Oh, can, can they come to the U.S., please? Nice. <laughs> right? Yeah. Need to open up. Looks like Nate just picked that up, too, for his Jabba Palace set, I'm sure. All right, Salacious, what's in the other box? <laughs> yeah, might as well. We got some time tonight. Got 13 minutes before we hit two hours. Come on, Salacious. Show us the box. Do it. Do it. Just give me a second. I need to prep it for a second. All right. Prep it. <laughs> Please hold. I want to know what's in the box. What's in the box? So what uh, pre-order are you guys most excited about that you've done lately? Uh... I want to be excited about the Clone Wars wave. I really do. <laughs> I want that wave so I need that Obi Wan so bad. Yeah. Uh, I don't know, man. I don't know because I did pre-order a lot. Oh, you know, I went with that Nimrod three pack today. Yeah. Post of that deal. Uh, yeah. If anybody's interested in that, that's fifty bucks. I think it was or sixty mm -hmm. for all fifty three. or sixty on Amazon for yep. that three pack. Mm -hmm. And then I can stop bugging you about your Psylocke. Now you got your own Psylocke. Yeah. Is the same Wait, one they Dan, already released? Now I can hear you. What were you saying, Dan? Yeah, it's the same yeah, one. Phantom X and Psylocke, that one? Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that three-pack, yeah. Yeah, because I, I, I want to say that... Yeah, it's only $50 on Amazon. I want I want to say there was like 70 ish when they launched it. 69 70 Yeah. yeah. It was, was it really 70 ish That's what... All right. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, I, I paid less for that. 
I paid less for that, but you know, I, I, that's one I didn't mind that Nimrod is, is a stellar figure. Nimrod. And then, you know, I got a Psylocke and then the Phantom X is like a sleeper cool figure. Um, it, cool. it's, it's basically Gambit with a different face and it's just painted like uh, Phantom X, but it is a sleepy cool figure, man. Oh, how does the base fit? Yeah. He got it. So, so what Zavi pre-order? I thought it was only available through Target. Yeah, they did post a link, and I guess they did that with the very first retro collection wave, mm-hmm. uh, and they they came through and paid. But then again, they did it before, and then they canceled something. I don't know what they canceled, but yeah, this is Zavi thing. Uh, you can get the whole wave, and I guess it was a little bit more per figure, but. Uh, a lot of people got in on that. I was sleeping when they dropped that bummer. Okay, I'm back. That's uh, okay. I'm Greg. People dislike all the time. So thumbs up on there, everybody. I'd appreciate it. We're kind of late now, though. Okay, I'm back with package number two. All this right, one's, let's roll. This one's a little bit smaller. It's about half the size of the other one, but it's very clearly Star. Again. This this green bubble wrap is indestructible. Ah, oh, more black series. Oh no, another Bo Katan. I think I double ordered it by mistake. <laughs> uh, I've, got, dreaded <laughs> I've, got a, I've got a spare Bo Katan. If anyone, you know, that's a great gift, though. I gave one of those as a gift uh, to a teacher this week. Uh, so that's a good gift for someone. And then a Tuscan Raider. So he's cool. Tuscan. Nice. Oh, I got to open mine. There we go. That's all she wrote. That's all. That's all that's in there. Yeah. Dude, I appreciate all figure. that bubble wrap. Absolutely. I mean, that's that's how figures should be shipped. That is fantastic. I wish can, Star. Can you please come to the United States, please? They are very good. Has to be said. The dreaded yeah, double I, order. I, I got to say, in um, in the United States, I think GameStop has become the most reliable uh, place to order from. Yeah. They're up there. And even in-store, you could put $5 down, you know, and they'll order a mm-hmm. figure in-store. So mm-hmm. I did that when I first started collecting again. I was doing that all the time, especially for, like, Anakin and Darth Maul Archive. I knew I had to pre-order them somewhere, and uh, that's where I went. Yeah, and a lot of times you can pre-order them in the store when they're sold out online. Mm-hmm. They're pretty cool about helping you with that stuff too. I had one that the um, it was actually showing online to be able to put into your cart, but I had pre-ordered it at the store. I'm like, how, mm-hmm. why is that shouldn't happen? And as soon as I walked in, I mean, and told the guy the story, the manager literally um, refunded my pre-order and shipped it to have it to come to my house. So, oh, no, dude, that's wow. awesome. I mean, you That's couldn't awesome. get that. With, yeah, you couldn't get that with any other place, you know. No. So what? Uh, what? What videos are you guys uh, making this weekend for next week? Nothing for me right now. I'm really lazy. I'm planning on doing a Mace Windu video where he's fighting uh, six battle droids, and I want to have it to where he's like chopping off one of their heads. And uh, That's fine. so I'm thinking. So are, you, creative, are you gonna try yeah. stop motion? No, nope. I'm just gonna do several poses. Uh, maybe him with some uh, clones just to have a couple, you know, cut scenes to where I can build view duration where it'll actually get more than a hundred views. I'm hoping so. <laughs> Cause it's an older figure now. Hmm, that's cool. Yeah. The, uh, I, I do really appreciate that Mace Windu figure though. Thanks captain mule. Have a great weekend. Yeah. Slacious does. Ha- does have another package that arrived today from oh. one from one Mister Sleeping Collectibles. Um, but, so thank you very much, Mister Sleeping Collectibles. We've not opened it yet, but we're gonna. And I'm not gonna open it now because I'm gonna film the opening of that tomorrow. So it's a separate video. So that's quite exciting. I we, we kind of know what's in it because Mister Sleeping has been looking. You guys know I collect my primary. Um, focus is monkey lizard merch, and he found something out on his travels, monkey lizard related. So, um, so that that will be something I'm filming tomorrow, dude. Oh, he's here. He's, he's there he is. There he is. Thank you, Thank you, Mister Sleeping. Thank you, Mister Sleeping. Thank you. Can't wait to open it tomorrow. Excited, excited. 
What about you, Dan? What uh, what are you going to film? I actually have one in the chamber ready to fire off tomorrow, probably around noon or 11 or whenever I wake up uh, <laughs> shortly after that. It's the, the G.I. Joe Cobra infantry soldier that uh, I finally got. I don't think it's not the not the target exclusive. It's not the Cobra Island. I think there's slight variation of it. I never got my hands on that one, but this this re-released one I got. So nice, man. He is, he is, That'll be fun. He is definitely one of the best G.I. Joes that I've opened up so far. Sweet. I look forward cool. to seeing that. Heck yeah, man. I, I appreciate getting to watch your G.I. Joe videos and some of the other guys because I'm uh, I'm staying away because I'm, I'm just trying yeah. to stay to uh, Black Series and Legends. So um, it, it's a slippery slope. If you, you yeah. know, you had one thing, you got to add another. So yeah, <laughs> I try to stay back for right now. I totally get it. Like that Halo figure, you know, like there's there's some that I will cave in for but I can't just start a whole nother collection because then I won't want to complete the collection. Then I'll be in trouble. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. I totally agree. Um, so this weekend I'm going to do a, uh, a top 10 black series of 2021 so far. So I'm going to do uh, that video. And then um, if any of you uh, uh, saw like I, I did a Boca Tan video, but there's so many Boca Tan reviews. I just, I want to do something different because you've yeah. probably already seen five of them, right? I mean, realistically. So I did it from like the perspective of like setting up toy photography. So just here's the, you know, equipment I have. Uh, and then just, you know, showing how to pose, how I pose and articulate and then setting up the shot and then taking a shot just all in white light. And then I would then mess with the LEDs and the colors and, and take another shot and then just show how, how it looks when, uh, when you add some different color to it. So, uh, I just thought it was just like a, just a fun way to share, uh, how I do. Uh, I took some of those pictures of Boca Tan, but I, I legitimately ended up taking, um, my, the, my favorite photo I've ever taken so far. Uh, and it was one of the photos in that video. So, um, I'm, uh, I just thought it was a fun way to do a review because everyone else already, already oh. did. Of them, so. I, I yeah. enjoyed that. I enjoyed that video, dude. And yeah, uh, thanks, man. yours, your subs are are creeping up. I've noticed over the last couple of weeks. I think you're up, you're eight to eight, eight to eight now. But I, I think um, there's obviously a lot of YouTubers out there. But I think your sub count is criminally l lower than it should be. So we really oh. do need we, do, we we need to do a campaign. Yeah. I think to get to get the dude up to up to a it's thousand. A slow burn, so, man. It, it's no, a slow burn. I, you're, I think yeah, you, you should be three times what you are. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's very nice of you guys. For the, for the, for the I'm production. amazed anybody who watches my uh, my stuff. I, no. yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm my own worst critic. It's coming, after man. Because you've got good. some of yeah. those videos with thousands of views, and sometimes yeah. it just takes somebody to see the video, you know, a video of yours two to three times, and then after that, they'll finally pull the trigger. Yeah, I hope so, up. man. It, it, it's cool that people are watching them and it, it's fun to do. And, and, you know, we always talk about this, but it, it's just an extension of the hobby, right? Like planning a video, editing a video, playing with your toys, the photos. Um, it, it's just uh, the way a mature 43 year old man uh, plays with his toys. Right. So <laughs> yeah, but dude, dude uh, the production, you know? the, pr the production value on your videos is on point. And the Sean is right. Some of your versus videos. I was I was looking through your channel the other day. I was doing a bit of a, a creeper uh, binge as I do, and you've got seven or eight thousand views on some of those versus videos, and they are top. Yeah, quality. it's really cool. They're, they're top yeah. quality videos, dude. So, uh, sleeping's just said a campaign. You say, uh, yeah, I, I think, <laughs> yeah, I, I think a dude campaign is on its way, and uh, I think you'll you'll so, quick, you'll quickly zoom past a thousand. I think once we. I, I appreciate that. Yeah. And I'm, I'm just, uh, I'm not good at promoting myself or asking, asking for, you know what I mean? I'm just, I'm more of a, Hey, here's a video. I'd love, you know, you, but that, that's about the extent of my, uh, of my promoting <laughs> and asking yeah. for stuff. You know what I mean? I'm just, I'm just not that type of guy, but I, I appreciate all that you guys are saying and, and I appreciate everyone that watches and, and, uh, you know, I love the comments on them and interacting and, and it, it's just a fun extension of, of the hobby. I mean, again, we always talk about it. It's a lonely hobby if you don't have this or have friends nearby that do the same thing. Uh, uh, yes, and, and, Dan does uh, have a YouTube. Uh, his yeah, I'll post it right now. I'll post it right now for you. 
And Sean, you you hit ten thousand subs, didn't you? I yeah. did. And right you did. You did not make. Epic. You did not make any fuss about it at all. You didn't no, say anything. because again. normally when you do, you like quickly lose a hundred, and it like drops underneath. Uh, so it always happens. Uh, so I, yeah, I but I did hit ten thousand. I remember you dropped like a thousand one time. He he peaked over what was it? Because you were under a thousand when I first started mm-hmm. watching you, and then oh yeah. When I announced that I hit a thousand, yeah, it dropped again, and I was like, oh, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He shot up to like fifteen hundred, and then it went back down to like seven. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I just, I just stopped at that point. That's but pretty yeah. funny. Yeah, because uh, yeah, I... the Darth Maul video did really good, uh, so I got lucky on that, and then uh, that is the one that hit me over. And then my Boba Fett video, that's almost four thousand views, and that Final Fantasy video I did, that's got almost. 2000 so That's i'm getting cool, a lot man. of subs from your background dan that you put in my videos uh <laughs> for anybody that's new yeah. you know what's amazing is that like my my uh m- the mall video i put up i think did like 250 300 views in a day and then i threw up a, a marvel one at the end of the week and it was like 30 <laughs> It's just the variance in in Star Wars and Marvel is yeah. is amazing. Yeah, it, it's uh, it, it's pretty impressive uh, um, how much your views you get. Well, yeah. dude, my, dude, my vote, my most viewed video is a Sonic the Hedgehog video <laughs> that's got seven and a half thousand <laughs> views that I that yeah. I. I was just messing around with, so try and work that one out. But Vern's Vern's almost at thirty thousand subs now. That's insane. Like, he's yeah, just that's like, yeah. like Hulk smash. Man, he's just on another level now with that viewership. It's it's nuts, absolutely nuts. That's why he schedules birthday parties around our show now. You know what I mean? He's like, <laughs> like I'll just stop by. Yeah. I'll do a cameo. <laughs> uh, he, I'm just kidding, Vern. He can. Yeah. Oh dear, we've got some we've got some uh, so, AV flickering. So- so let me ask you guys a question. Um, yeah. I I think I'm going to do another like toy photography video like that this weekend because it, like I said, it was super experimental and just kind of I thought I'd give it a try. So now that I did it once, I want to kind of do it again. I'm trying to think: are there any figures I haven't opened that might might be fun to do something like that with? Ooh, maybe those archive troopers. I haven't opened uh, the new pack of the archive troopers. Yet. Oh yeah, those are very like uh, I don't know if you can see mine, but. Uh, just the on shore display. trooper and the the hover yeah, tank they're trooper. Just so beautiful, man! Just standing there. So yeah, those will do amazing. Maybe I'll do that. That'll be fun because those, those have been reviewed to death. You know what I mean? So that yeah. that's what I'm thinking. Like a, a channel that's got 800 subs. Oh, you know what? Kind of, I you, know, uh, you have the death do something trooper? different because for some reason my death trooper video gets like uh, about eight views an hour consistently. Wow. Uh, that's awesome. And I think that's almost got two grand views. And I didn't think anybody would watch the death trooper. But if you got him, mm-hmm. I would that's do all the I, troopers, maybe. Th- that's the only uh, one out of the four I didn't get, and that's just because I already I had the other Duck Trooper uh, yeah, already. That one's so getting me a lot of subs. Yeah, it's, it's weird. I never thought people would. That's uh, yeah, that is that interesting. Video. I wonder. I wonder why the Death Trooper is more searched for. I, I mm-hmm. from just looking at them. I mean, the Tuscan Raider looks really cool, and uh, yeah. both troopers look really, really neat too. Yeah, yeah, those yeah. don't get many views. I think one has four hundred, and the other has like maybe almost nine hundred. They're getting there, uh, but that yeah, death trooper is on creep. fire. Like, like sometimes things just creep over time because they keep mm. they get repetitive views. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, uh, Dan, uh, Brandon, you ought to rewind the video a little later and check out some of Dan's dioramas. Just mind blowing. I was um I was I was watching um my little my uh, my friend the Ultimate Wolf. Um, I think sleeping was as well uh, yesterday, and he was doing a little live stream of, you know those, you know that diorama you set you got the dude. Uh, is it next or fec, fen, What's uh, it called? Uh, uh, fext, F-E-X-T. Fext. So yeah. he's bought he's bought some of those, but he's bought uh, there are um, there are stands that clip into the bases. So mm-hmm. he he basically had the Maverick Top Gun um, jet. And then he had the F twenty two Raptor Star Scream, and then he had a a regular Star Scream. And you can buy these little stands that clip into the into the base, and then um, you can mount the planes so that they're flying. So those um, I don't know if you've seen those, but those accessories to your set are absolutely awesome. 
I, I saw them and then I, I totally, when I ordered them, I forgot to order them. And I was so mad at myself because yeah, you can, you can actually put them into the wall and the ceiling and stuff. And then you can hang like Jedi fighting down, like, like they're jumping off the wall yeah. and stuff. Yeah. So at some point I'm going to get those. Um, the other thing I'm excited to do is I am going to open up the second set I got and then um, expand the one I have. I want to create like two levels and then uh, bring it out a little bit further too. So I'm, I think I'm going to uh, mess with it and expand it at some point. Uh, and then, yeah, Josh, I'm, I'm, I have a galaxy note 10 plus uh, that I, I shoot and take, I shoot all the video and take pictures on. So if you don't have any talent, like, like Dan does, those set those diorama sets that you've bought are pretty good. I went on their website. I have no talent for that. That's why I bought it. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's what I mean, but <laughs> no capability. But they, <laughs> but they do they do different types of scenery, don't they? So they do do like yeah, they have all kinds scene of them. and there's a, there's a, they even do the inside of the Transformers arc, you know, with the the computer yep. screens and stuff. So pretty yeah, cool. They, yeah, and I was really impressed by their breadth of selection the, the one i got was i felt just perfect for what i wanted to do but um they even have like basketball court ones i mean they have everything there they, I, I highly recommend you guys check out uh, their site it's it's effectsystems.com yeah i'm interested in seeing the one that nate gets he's getting a black series like death star hallway no the uh the ship where leah and vader first oh the tantive four yeah yeah, that's what you get it. That's cool. Yeah, it, it's a uh, to me it it's it just took my photography to another level. But then also filming videos is so much easier because I have a proper background now. So I just I think that my videos look better and they stay in focus better, and then the lighting is better on them too. Mm-hmm. So it 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 was worth that investment to me. It it's uh, it just it's made it more enjoyable to take pictures and and make videos for sure. And I, I love the new pictures I'm getting with them. They're I, like my favorite pictures I've taken so far, I think. Yeah, I'm almost ready to upgrade my phone. Uh, I'm using XS Max. Uh, I think that's what it is, but it's about a three-year-old phone now. And you know how quickly, amazingly oh, good yeah. quality the pictures get. So. Yeah, I mean, my Samsung will be two years in August. Um, mm-hmm. And so, you know, probably look to upgrade maybe later this year at Christmas time. But I'm I'm still real happy. I mean, I can do 4K video. I do everything 1080p, but I can do 4K video, and then and then the pictures come out pretty well. So yeah, I've um, been doing most of mine in 4K because uh, I notice on TVs, you know, they look really good on the television on the 4K. Uh, and I think I've seen some stupid videos where they're like, "Oh, 4K is the future. Make them future proof." Uh, mm-hmm. So I've been trying to upload all my videos in 4K lately. Is that a sausage roll? What is that? Is that an egg roll? Sausage roll? Well, Bob, Bob, Bob got a takeaway, a Chinese takeaway, but oh, he keeps let's see try- this. wow, he keeps trying to give me these. I don't really, I'm confused by them. They're spring, they're chicken rolls with cheese, and I've never seen that from a takeaway, Chinese takeaway before. I don't what fancy. What kind of sauce do you have to dip them in? He keeps trying to, he keeps trying to give them me. I don't want them. What kind of sauce do you? What kind of sauce? No sauce. What? How do you how do you eat an egg roll without sauce? No duck well, sauce. Uh, well, we got some we got we got some sweet and sour sauce, but not yeah, with cheese. Yeah, yeah, it's duck sauce. Yeah, with, with cheese, cheese roll, cheese. Yeah, but you gotta cheese. you gotta dip it in something. Cheese and chicken. Some oh. salad cream or oh. marmite. No salad cream is horrible. So shabby likes that. It's horrible. Horrible stuff. All right, Bob, dip it, dip it, and give it me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, sleep says you need sauce. Exactly. Yep. Teriyaki sauce. Teriyaki sauce. I think other than that, I, I'm always, it's barbecue, ketchup, or some kind of sauce. S- even sauce. like mozzarella sticks. Like I have to have marinara. I'll, I'll even dip mozzarella sticks in ketchup. I don't know if that's controversial or not. What about you guys? Will you dip mozzarella sticks in ketchup? Yes, always. Yeah, marinara. Uh, no, marinara. I think it's better. Yeah, marinara. I don't know if what I about tried ranch? it with ketchup. What about no, ranch? Have you like ever tried it with ranch? ranch? I, I like love mozzarella sticks with ranch. Actually, that's <laughs> really. Cool. <laughs> that's interesting. Here we go. What, we what's go. Ra- ranch dressing? Yes, ranch, ranch dressing. dressing. What you put on a salad? salad? 
put ranch yep. on that I would What, you have, mozzar- you have mozzar- breaded mozzarella? Oh, everybody's walking oh. in the chat. Oh, dude, <laughs> in, mozzar- in, in college, there was a place called Milano's, and they used to serve uh, just like Italian bread, and we'd go at 2.30. The bar next door would let out. We'd go at 2.30, and you'd get a loaf of bread and then a cup of ranch, and you'd sit on the porch of this restaurant just dipping your bread into the ranch and eating it at 2.30 in the morning. Yeah, no, they do that. So they in, think- in, in America, ranch is like a condiment, like ketchup. Yeah. It's used, yeah, yeah, very, very. Do you guys use that commonly over there, or is it only for salads? In, in, in ranch is you put on salad, but to be honest, in Italy, it's balsamic vinegar. You have a little tiny, you have a little, little tiny yep. plate or something, and yep. you dip your you dip your bread in balsamic vinegar, I think. Yep. Or oil, olive oil. You dip it in olive oil. Bit of yeah, olive oil. In Germany, dip. they had their French fries with mayonnaise. You know, that's all. It was. There's no ketchup, and then you just mayonnaise. dip it in the mayonnaise and eat them. Yeah, they're wild in Germany. Oh, mayo's on my no-fly list. Can't do it. Every meal in the ranch, salad. ranch, 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 ranch. I serve it every meal in the salad. Not I want that. some ranch dressing on my salad, please. The, the <laughs> thing I do like ranch with is if you have really hot uh, buffalo wings. I think like a little bit of ranch on it is good. Yeah. That's a oh. German thing, yeah. People like French fries. Or the mayo. other thing that's good with with ranch is uh, celery sticks. You can dipping uh, celery in pat- <laughs> and uh, carrots in ranch. Bob, go and get Pilly. Go and get Pilly. Pilly's Pilly's from America. Go and go and get Pilly. <laughs> Two Pilly things. All right. So so for for mozzarella sticks, I will I will say uh, marinara and ketchup for sure for me, and then ranch if uh, it's it's late in the morning and I've had a fun night out. So well, like Dan, your your ranch and marinara. They, yeah, ranch and marinara, but they, I mean, they obviously for the French fries. And I've seen somebody mention in the comments there. They obviously recognize the combination of the two because you guys have seen that mayo stuff, right? Haven't you? Yeah. Heinz makes the yeah. mayo ketchup in a bottle already, yeah. ready to go. Well, so that's like, really? isn't that what they put on? That's what they put on Whoppers, isn't it? It's just mayo and ketchup. Is it mayo and ketchup? Yeah. I think or or no, that's a Big Mac, isn't that like their special sauce? Is mayo, ketchup, relish? Big Mac was like Thousand Island dressing or something like oh, that. Oh yeah, yeah, that was Thousand Island. Although I can't. Yeah, I can't do the mayo. You know what's actually good on some French fries is like Red Hot or Tabasco. I think it tastes. Chick-fil-A. It's it's really good on French fries. Yes, sir. I love some ranch dressing on my French fries. <laughs> 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 on your yes, French fry sir. taters. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm a Popeyes was, guy. I love Popeyes. They closed it down in my town, though. I got to go three hours just to get one. Nice. Yeah, I'm not into Chick Fil A at all. I'm, I'm old school with Popeyes. I grew up eating Popeyes. Wow, we've got Ferns back on Twitter posting. He should be getting men here, getting in on the food discussion. Yes, sir. He should. He can choke a dozen donkeys on that. That donkey. <laughs> That dog don't hunt. So what about you, Dan? What's yours? Dan, I, can you turn out? I, I can have an yeah, see, hearing you. Josh likes mayo on his fries, too. Josh, I'm your huckleberry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fri- french fries is ketchup, sometimes Tabasco, and then... Uh, if I if I'm eating something with barbecue, sometimes I'll dip the fries in the barbecue and then dip in ketchup. You know, I'll alternate between them just to uh, uh, vary the tastes. It's a taste sensation. That be that's a taste sensation for sure. You mix ranch with the ketchup. Is that what you just said? No, me no never. Oh. Okay. It's- Listen, y'all. No, like, I just, like, I just, so I, I, listen, like... listen, dude. Listen, dude. Just give me some yoo-hoo, some funyuns, and I'll go <laughs> all night. Yes, sir. Uh, I'm still trying to conceptualize having chocolate milk with funyuns. I just, it just does not. Yeah, I don't get that, man. That is such an odd combo. It's, it's two conflicting tastes. No, you can't do that. No, dude. If, if if I'm playing video games and crushing chips, I want a Coke, and I want salt and vinegar chips with like puffy Cheetos in a mix, and I, I will sit there and eat pounds of that while I'm playing video games. 
funions earlier. <laughs> did you rip? Did you dip the uh, funions in some ranch? Oh, for sure. They are little. Oh, onion, ra onion rings and ranch sure is good. Is. Onion rings and ranch are good. Yeah, the, that's solid. <laughs> little little dandy boy. Yes, I am sir. Hungry after this, for sure. <laughs> oh, for sure. They are little dandy boy. Give me a bag of Funyuns. <laughs> Some Coca-Cola. Yeah, dude. Co I love having Coke while I'm playing video games. I don't know what it is about it. There's, it just, there's such a synergistic effect. And I chips, too. I love French fries. Not French fries, fries. On chips. Uh, on chips, around. yep. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Do you guys have a Penn Station around you anywhere? Is that a local thing or uh, I in uh, when I uh, in college there was a Penn Station nearby, but I don't I don't think there's any where I live. But yeah, we used to eat there all the time, and I love the fries were awesome. You get the the cup fries. Yes. Yep. Yep. Yeah, dude, they, that place was they sweet. Serve they serve it with the vinegar packs. So yeah. Somebody said they, the vinegar on the fries, so they with their fries come with little like they'll just dump packs of vinegar inside the bag. Yep. Yeah, you know, I'm just sitting on the counter every time my wife goes there. Like, yeah, yeah, man, there's no Penn Stations uh, up in Michigan that I I know of. Um, but I we used to crush Penn Station, man. I love that yeah, spot. It's great subs, man. Great subs. Now, now, Dandy, now, Dandy, you need to get that little doll in the alls under control. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let her get out of control. Show show her who's the man of the house. I will. As soon as I find him. So what? I, I got to figure out what I. I I'm, now I want to like snack on something after this. <laughs> <laughs> I like the dinner. Well, I'll be I eating dinner after this. So nice. Yeah. See, it's uh awesome. nine here. What time's it over there, Salacious? Two. I uh, don't tell the time too good to be totally honest with you, <laughs> Bob. Bob, what's what's the time here? Um, uh, it's yeah, quarter past two in the morning. Woo! That don't it's mean burning. much to that don't mean much to us monkey lizards. As soon as that Bob goes to sleep, we'll be having one hell of a party. That's for sure. Why don't you get? Why don't you drug his yuhu? Oh, we often drop a bit of sedatives into Bob's <laughs> Coca Cola. He's <laughs> off. He can He fall asleep. He's asleep for hours. We get his phone, we be ordering pizza left, right, and center. From Papa John, Papa George, and every man and his monkey lizard's dog. Yes, sir. -y. <laughs> Ooh, crinkle, curly. What's a borax? Saki Western fries? I've never heard of that. I think I'm going to say I love all French fries. I love I love curly fries from Arby's. I love crinkle cut fries. I love cross cut fries. I like steak fries. I sound like Forrest Gump with shrimp. I like steak fries. Shrimp. I like, uh, I like thin fries. We made uh, for my say shrimp. 16th, shrimp. For my daughter's uh, 16th birthday, we made uh, Taco Bell nacho fries at home. So we got like the thin cut fries and then I took uh, La Preferata seasoning and you just season them and then they take Tastes just like uh, the Taco Bell nacho fries, dude. And, those, and, and then those we dipped in cheese whiz. Wow, dude, you really know how to make a little monkey lizard moist. <laughs> perfect. <laughs> That's perfect. Um, you know what else are good are sweet potato fries. Have you guys ever had those? Oh yeah, I have rally oh, yeah. fries around here. Rally's good. Yeah. Sweet potato like fries. No thanks, man. My family. You don't like sweet those, potato though. fries? You got to cut them thin. That's the key. Like they can't be thick fries because yeah. it's kind of overwhelming with the the, the it is. texture for me. But yeah, the thin thin sliced sweet potato fries. Man, we got a couple of joints around here that do it. So those are really good. And I I like them because uh, we do them homemade, and uh, I like dipping them in barbecue sauce. Yeah, yeah I, red robin. I think they taste too, really yeah. good together. Growing up, I always thought McDonald's had great fries as a kid, and then. Um, I always love Arby's curly fries. Oh yeah, curly fries. Have we used borax on the boardwalk? 
Give me some biscuits and gravy, please. Biscuits and gravy and some grits. Give some oh, grits. yeah, wedges. Wedges are great, too. Oh, yeah. We could do a, a French fry tasting party. Yeah, maybe we should I do that love next that. time. Like, like you'd have like 20, 20 types of French fries laid out, and you just go through and you, you test them all and then wash it down with beer. That sounds amazing. <laughs> the beer part, yeah. Yeah, I think checkers is the same as rallies. So, a, yeah, I think they're the same family. I gotta say though, those Penn Station fries were were all time good fries from from a fast food place. Like, those were those were yeah. solid. I mean, basically, like when you when you ordered a thing of fries, they took a potato and they put it in the slicer, and then they would just dump it in the fryer. So it was like freshly cut. Ooh, honey, honey mustard, mustard is good. good. Yeah. yeah, that's a good yeah. call, Josh. Yep, I like honey mustard just on a turkey sandwich, man, with bacon. Mm. It does sound good. That does sound. All I had tonight for dinner was broccoli cheese soup because I was rushed. So I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm that a bit sounds good peck- too. I'm a bit peckish. Yeah, yeah. Dump some crackers in there and some extra cheese on top. It was, it was tasty. And I watched Bad Batch <laughs> while I ate my soup. <laughs> I mean that that's how I roll. I live a high life like that. Oh, I bet they're good on chicken fingers. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Must have on chicken fingers, man. I like I like mixing up. I, if I'm having like chicken fingers or even barbecue, I like to have two or three sauces just to alternate between them. I, I like to explore my my sauciness. My my uh, wife actually uh, calls me Captain Condiment. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I bet she does. <laughs> Saucy little devil, you. <laughs> mm. <laughs> he got all the sauce, if you know what I mean. <laughs> the vinegar based. The ketchup based. Yeah. Yeah, those are the skulls on the wave cap there, right? The, the bandana. What's that little dandy boy? Those are, those are skulls, right? I'm trying to I'm trying to look at it without turning upside down. Oh dandy, this is my little pirate bandana. That is okay, all right. I thought so. I thought That's so. right. That's right, I'm I'm ready for the high seas. Yes, sir. <laughs> a southern accent pirate. I like it. <laughs> that likes uh, grits and... Um, what else was it? Biscuits and oh, gravy. Yeah. yeah, some biscuits and gravy. Bit of a staple in my parts. Some grits. Some shrimp. Some hot sauce. Mm. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> yeah, the clone shop trooper is gonna be the bomb. Dude, that shy char- I'm I'm hoping that order comes through. Yeah. I grabbed two of them. I'm hoping that comes through. That would be Please. neat. All right, so what what do you guys are you so what are you having for dinner, Sean? Uh I have no idea. I'll find out as soon as this is over. So, which nice you you come in, you're coming in hot to the dinner table. Yes, <laughs> but, uh, but I do know I'm running low on battery soon, so we're gonna have to of wrap course. it up here soon. Of course, Sean, that's all right. Sean, eighty dollars Sean, for what? Mm-hmm. What's eighty bucks? <laughs> little 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 Sean comes in hot in all activities. Today I was early. <laughs> well, <laughs> you were early for Sean. That was a, that was yeah. true. I had and, to be, uh, yeah. No it wouldn't be a it wouldn't be a stream without your battery running low at the end. Yeah, always. Well, soon I'm gonna get that Mac, so we'll be upgraded. It's gonna be cool, and I can play videos, and uh, it's gonna be yeah. fun, man. I can't wait till we get that upgrade. You're gonna enjoy uh, editing videos on it too. That iMovie's pretty. Solid I think so. To work with, yeah, you'll enjoy that. You'll enjoy yeah. that. Sean's going to be dangerous with that laptop. Dangerous. It's going to be on fire. Well, it's going to be nice. Yeah. It is. So, Dan, uh, what uh, what are you going to snack on tonight? We'll close We'll close with Dan. You know, honestly, I probably it's kind of uh, – I'm not that hungry. I'll probably just do, like, a drink and then go to bed. Ooh, what, kind of, what, do, you, what do you got? Oh, nothing fancy. No, like a protein shake or – Something oh, like I, thought you meant, I thought you were going to have like a fine beverage, malted beverage. No, no, no. That, that, was, that was last night. I got that taken care of. I didn't want 
Hey, I didn't want you to see me that way for uh, tonight, so I was like, <laughs> "Goddamn God pro, goddamn protein shake! What the hell?" <laughs> that's, so wait, that's your snack? Is a protein praise, shake? Praise the yeah, Lord, yeah, man. have mercy on my soul. Yeah. That's that's cool. what, kind of, what are you gonna throw in the protein shake? Some a banana. Uh, you know what, peanut butter sometimes, um, I'll put it in the nice. blender with some peanut butter and then, um, well, not, not this late at night for chocolate milk, but I'll probably do another one with silk. So like this. get over, get over here, little Danny boy. We're come over, come, over to, come over to the monkey this lair and you, you and I, we can do space bananas all night. <laughs> <laughs> That's, I like that. I've uh, I've actually been using my blender too. Um, I've been uh, making um, uh, just I just get frozen mangoes, frozen cherries, frozen blueberries, and six ice cubes, and I throw it in the blender, and then I'll I get it into a paste, and then I'll put water in, and then I freeze it, and they're like it's like an Italian ice, and I don't put sugar in it. I don't put it's just straight frozen fruit, you know, from the earth. Um, but then, you know, it's like, like, you know, how like Italian ice, it's like soft, so you can kind of scrape it, right? And then you eat the scrapings. So I'll just sit there at night and I'll eat that. And I feel like I'm getting a nice treat, but it's just fresh fruit. So I, um, I love the taste of fresh fruit. So, Oh, that's a good healthy snack, man. I'll yeah. try that. Yeah, you have, yeah, that, yeah. You, have, you have that fruit, so you can give that sauce to your little mama girl. <laughs> you condiment, so you got to have You need this. I am Captain it. Condiment, yes. <laughs> Feed the souls. Feed the souls. I'm also Captain Indecisive when I do versus videos, uh, but um, I must also be Captain Condiment too. <laughs> actually, actually, what's funny is that doesn't come from my wife. Now that I remember it properly, my my roommate, my fifth year in college, called me, at, and then at my wedding, he told my wife that I was Captain Condiment, um, and that my <laughs> he used to make fun of me about it because our our we had two fridges in our dorm room, and then we had a, a small TV and uh, a Nintendo on it. And uh, one fridge was all beer, and the other fridge was basically condiments <laughs> that I had <laughs> locked up in my my room in our house. <laughs> the essential. You had it I like it saucy, man. I like it saucy. So does Mama, dude. <laughs> <laughs> real saucy, real saucy. Uh, dude, I want to say thank you to Dan for hanging out, man. It, like we're yeah, it, definitely. I, I love, you know, and same, you know, everyone, anyone in chat too, like it, it's, we want everyone to come on the show, man. And, and because we talk to you on Twitter, we like each other's photos on Instagram, but it, it's nice to actually get to see each other and just talk and, and hang out, man. And that, that's what this show is all about is just hanging out with, with new friends. So just thanks for putting up with our shtick tonight and uh, hanging out with us, man. And you, that tour was sweet too. Thank you for the invite and thank you. Yeah, that was a wicked great start of the show. I bet it's gonna have good uh, view duration. We'll see how that works. Hey, look who's in uh, late latecomer usual, Mike. What's up, Mike? Oh, it's that Mister Unusual yeah. Mike. What's up, Mike? You ought to see the tour at the beginning, Mike. It'll just blow your mind. Yeah, this great tour. Room at the is insane. Man. So, guys, please uh, check out uh, Dan's videos and subscribe. Um, great videos. <laughs> Good dude, yeah. great part of the Link's community. All in, and, underneath uh, for everybody. Absolutely, man. Please, uh, please check out his channel and uh, support him. Catch them all, little dandy boy, little dandy yeah. boy. And we'll end it there, man. We'll see you guys uh, next week. Whose channel are we going to be on next week? So Saturday uh, on Dudes Nerdery, and then um, we are going to do. Uh, I'm forcing everyone to do this. We're all going to make our top ten Black Series of 2021 so far lists, and now uh, we're going to compare them. So uh, uh, do your homework, gentlemen. Do not dishonor the toy gods. And uh, and then if you're watching and in the chat, bring yours too, because we want we want to hear what you think of our top ten list. And we want to know what your top ten uh, figures are. And then for the list, it's any Black Series figure um, that has been released that um, is not still on pre-order. So it just has to be released and out. And uh, and I just thought it'd be a fun topic for us to uh, debate our top ten. Sounds good. Yeah, you'll and then our special guest also too. our our special guest next week will be both Nate and Justin from Out of the Basement. So, uh, awesome. be really excited to have both of them on. And then uh, I'll be on cool. their show uh, the the Sunday the uh, the next day for um, we are doing a Black Series action figure draft. So that should be a lot of fun. Good wholesome American boys for sure. 
<laughs> yeah. All right. Peace out, everybody. Thank you. Bye. I'm your Huckleberry.